<laughs> All right. This is the time. Okay, so. Um, so I guess that's session zero. If there's any questions you want to ask. Mm. Mm, that's a good point. Questions. I should have thought of. <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> Um, I guess, I guess, yeah, no, because I was just reading through the, the world thing you posted. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause it was like, yeah. So we know that, you know, main antagonists appear to be draconic forces. Mm -hmm. Also, there's a, well, not it's, necessarily. It's more like a looming doom. Looming doom. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I guess my question, I'm just going to get, cause I think I got a good understanding of this because um, as far as I'm aware, I'm the only real caster in the group, right? Right. Yeah. So, Here. now you were making mention that casters are pretty rare in this universe, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. They're, it's not, they're not unheard of, but they're, they are extremely rare. Like, for example, if you, uh, if the rogue hides, for example. Mm. Right. Um, They'll they won't assume you turn invisible. They'll assume that you're hiding somewhere. They'll start searching. The enemy will start searching methodically to find you. Mm, okay, interesting. They okay. won't believe that you're a caster unless you uh, unless you actually start using blatant magic in front of them. Right. Okay. That's interesting. Ooh, I'm going to use that to my advantage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, not really taboo, but more like uh, hidden. Sort of? it not even hit. Not hit. It's forgotten. Okay. Right. So it's like that, a. For, mm -hmm. So that also applies to the you know looming doom we're saying, right? Because right. the uh, dragons on the other side, you know, the dragon boys. Yeah. Uh, Do they? They have casters. I mean, like I said, casters are not full casters are not unheard of. Half rare. casters like rangers. Are and paladins, they're slightly rarer, mm -hmm. mm, okay. but they're more common. But gotcha. like full up to level nine casters are, um, they're they're like they're almost non-existent. You're you're probably the only one you're going to meet. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Um, I guess this is more of a basic question. I don't know if you have an answer for it, but I can. This might be useful information. Mm -hmm. um, what, like, um, as far as, like, locations, like, named locations in Amorta, are there any, like, famous places that we know of just by happenstance or something like that? Um, yeah, first would be this, uh, the Seven Forts. You can, if you look at my as expertly drawn map, yes. they're on the west <laughs> coast. Um, what you know about those is that those aren't necessarily colossal fortresses per se mm -hmm. but they're more like a series of interconnected castles ah okay, okay. interesting castles all right yeah and um, okay yeah no i just did. yeah the other one would probably be the capital with marked by that snazzy looking star i haven't thought of a name for it yet ah okay okay yeah, that was what I was kind of curious about, what the capital city was. Okay, yeah, it's, it's marked it, by Yeah, it style. exists, you know of it, but, uh, I, like I said, I haven't thought of it yet. I haven't thought of a name yet. So, we could just uh, be like, ah, yes, yes, the capital. Yeah. What's yeah. the name of the capital? <laughs> ah, there's no need to say it. We all know. Uh, so, <laughs> I'll think Falcon? of something. No, it's all good. It's good. Trust, trust me. Trust me. I have had I have had many of uh, many of hours wasted trying to come up with a name for a single location. Yeah. Or person. Mm. Tell me about it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so is it uh, Robin? Yeah, I want to ask. Uh, since I already handed you some part of the story, the the character backstory, uh, do you think is possible to? Uh, apply that location into a you know well-known i don't know low yeah. landmark of sort um, <laughs> yeah i mean castle marvinfall would probably be a western castle on the western edge of Amorta. sweet thank you mm. so uh it, it might even be a castle that's a part of the forts one of the forts so yeah W so from, you can take your pick. Yeah, from what I what imagine, it was like I thought it was like you know, uh, son of ice and fire. So, 
I thought it was like uh, the lords rule over the lands. You know, they they each have their own kingdom, sort of mini kingdom. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's so, uh, it's, and it, so the it's land feudal. itself and the castle are the things that stands between you know the dragonborns and such. So yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, okay. it, it, like I said, it's um, um, but it's up but to you. Right? It is kind of, but it's it is um, it's feudal. Mm -hmm. There are different regions in the world, mm -hmm. right? In this land, um. But for the most part, it's not like seven distinct kingdoms. Yeah. Not like uh, not like Westeros. And that. Okay. Right. Okay. Gotcha. That's fine. If it, Westeros is shaped like an S, Saint is shaped more like a cucumber. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, all right. Uh, um, I, I guess in, oh, I have one. Um, it's oh, just okay. more of like a thing where because uh, I'm gonna use the cavalier um mm -hmm. archetype for our subclass for artos um is mounts gonna be heavily used i, I just want to know like so uh, yeah actually mounts are a big thing like like it's a knights and chivalry yes are, <laughs> yes <laughs> they're big um tournaments are a thing i can't uh, already it's, it's... imagine what feed you're gonna pick <laughs> yes. Tournament, like I said, tournaments are big, and you need a mount to participate in that. Mm. Uh, especially if you're going to planning on doing the jousting. No. Um, your house, <gasps> if you choose, yeah. can j can mm. joust, can not just uh, participate, but also host a tournament. Mm. Oh, okay. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, okay. See. <laughs> If we if we end up jousting, um, since I'm a bard, I will just be exclusively playing queen music, so I can recreate a knight's tale. <laughs> no, I remember that. That was my initial thought. Yes, that was my Cause, thought. Just cause, like the opening. Because yeah, because that opening is awesome. I know yes. it doesn't make any sense for rock music to play, but who gives a shit? <laughs> No, it's it's like you go in there, it's like you go in, um, you, you go in, you're riding your horse out, and then the home team, the audience is just starts chanting, "We will, we will, we will." Oh god! God, fucking love that movie. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. All right. Um. I I guess one maybe small question. I don't know if anyone else has any others. Um. So, how much do people in general know about the Feywild? Is it sort of like they know ah. a little bit about it? Because that's pseudo connected to my. Uh... Ooh. Yeah. They know. It's, it's, it's like the, for them, it's like the realm of fairy tale, you know? Mm. Like they're, okay. it, unless you're in the far south of Immortal, you really don't have any knowledge beyond fairy tale. Mm. Okay, so the south knows more about the Feywild than the north. Mm. Okay, that's actually really good to know. All right. Okay, nice. Okay. So, so rare species. <laughs> yeah, they are ex like they typically only consist of elves. Those are really the only ones that the only ones that actually cross over. Anything else that does is um is typically malevolent. Elves mm -hmm. are the only one. The, the Ladrin are the only ones that are. Right. They're, they're not somewhat nice. Okay, that's good to know. That has that has uh, I I that has some stuff to do with at least one of my feats. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I don't. I think that's all the questions I I really had uh, for the time being. All right. Uh, I have one. Um, so I'm a tiefling, or at least the character I want to make is a tiefling, and mm -hmm. uh. Um, the type that I chose is Bloodline of Zariel, so I just assume, yeah. like, Zariel is not really a thing, it's just, like... Unless there's, or like, a thing it? you want to replace Zariel, <laughs> or is it, right? So, <laughs> um, like, how do tieflings work in this? Like, do we originate from, like, uh... Like, initially, from... uh, yeah. it's just a little uh, involved. Initially, yes, um... What happened when the original Draconic Invasion was repelled, the first king and his companions ascended to Godhood to try to protect Amorta from further attacks. Okay, uh, that's yeah, cool. So, yeah, so you're... 
So um, when they did, they did discover something interesting. They discovered that uh, devils and angels not only existed, but they also claimed that they were waiting for them. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, so they, yeah. So there was a, was there like a crossing essentially after this? Yeah. What do you mean a crossing? Well, Mike, like, Mike, you... like cause it's, you're making it sound like there were a- devils and angels waiting for them. Were Typhlings always around or was there like, um, or yeah, was they, they, okay. they were, I mean, I guess they are, are, were a human bloodline that could be traced back, but the, the origin origins of Typhlings have been forgotten. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, did that should be fine then. Mm-hmm. Okay, but uh, the thing about them, how they're viewed, um, initially they were viewed like with mistrust because you know they got the horns and the devil tail, and Zariel was a tiefling. Mm-hmm. Um, but what happened was another tiefling, like about like seven hundred or so years ago, was able to ascend to godhood. And oh, ever since okay. she did, and she was an honorable paladin, ever since she did, people have start, take something of a split view of Tieflings. Some people are like, oh, Tieflings are sneaky devil people. Others are like, no, Tieflings are an honorable bunch. Okay, that's interesting. I'll play into that. I like that. Okay. <laughs> I think so, honor is going to be a big deal in this campaign yeah. <laughs> since we have the honor stat. <laughs> nice. I really hope I don't fuck things up with my character <laughs> in that regard. <laughs> what are you talking about? Bart's always fucks around. No, just kidding. <laughs> what are you talking about? I am the most imagine, honorable. Bart. Imagine if Robin and I have high honor scores and then our lord has the yeah. lowest honor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we're just like, yeah. my so lord. <laughs> if I'm listening to this right, you want, what's his, you want, uh, you want boss man to be the, be the lord of your family. Oh well, no, we are, we're just joking about it. We're now, just joking because I, I, it could, I, it could, it could um, be. I mean, be that that was my question because like, I know we're we're creating a house this session, right? To essentially, yeah, right. House. yes, right. Um, I mean, I kind of wrote in my backstory, and I don't know whatever whatever you would think would be more interesting. It's just eventually he did kind of he kind of advertised himself to a house, right? Or whether that be an existing house or a house, an up-and-coming house or something like that. Because he kind of knows that, like, listen, like, spellcasters are in short supply. At least the ones that are that I can do stuff like I can do. So yes. I'm a valuable asset. So I would assume that I basically went to the house in question and said, hey, I can do this. If you're interested, I'd like to become part. You yeah. Know? Okay. Yeah, you can do that. You can. They'll ask for it. They'll. You'll probably have to demonstrate your abilities. Mm-hmm. Which is um, but you did. But you were able to do that. Uh, one second. I'm. I'm not just answering your questions. I'm running Storm King Thunder, and uh, <laughs> that's a boss fight is running okay. over. I was like, here, <laughs> you've got, you've got your your multiple monitors going. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Because I guess I guess well 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 Falcon's thinking about that because I'm curious about like um, what we're gonna do as far as like how well do we know each other yeah. have we been working together for years like uh, like uh, I don't know I, sounds like Bosman you already written up a you know character sort of a backstory right oh I yeah I yeah. basically I wrote most of a backstory um. It's- I mean, like, if I wanted to just say, like, what would be common knowledge about Isaac mm-hmm. is that, like, you know, you know, he's he's an entertainer. Uh, mm-hmm. He's a bard. Um, he definitely has magical abilities and has worked for noble families in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, since I, I guess, I guess I don't mind saying this. Um, even though it's a little bit of a character thing, there is a little bit where there were some rumors that something happened in a far off town where, um, there was a little bit of something with Isaac's past that kind of made him leave the town. Mm -hmm. Um, and then he made his way, whether it be southward or northward. Mm -hmm. Um, and then he, that's why he kind of was like, I need to, you know, find a new place to set up shop. Okay. Um, so, uncertain I will st- rumors. 
No, yeah, no, uncertain not rumors, I not guess. Not specifically saying that good or bad, but more like just something happened. Because Isaac, um, yeah, well, I think it's also like, I guess it would be, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, because of maybe how, uh, no, I, I just uncertain rumors. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely the weird thing about Isaac, though, um, which I is that he is human, mm -hmm. um, but he has v silver white hair mm -hmm. and golden <clears throat> eyes. And that is obviously, I'm going to assume, not very common in the human world of Immortal. <laughs> not really, no. So, and there is a reason behind that, but that is also something that makes him kind of stand out. Because uh, he's not old, he's not that old. He's uh, 33. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, right. yeah, that that's sort of what I wanted to say. <laughs> okay. okay, I can see it now. You already have a title, Golden Eye <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> 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 Just give me the Golden tux. Eye. Put the tuxedo on. Yeah. Oh man, Falcon will let us have guns in this universe. Damn it! Yeah, I'm oh. we'll give it, no, we'll give you a golden crossbow. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, you got okay, you. there we go. There we go. Golden hand crossbow. Yeah. We're good to go. Good to go. <laughs> I can just do my James. I mean, I'm not. James I'm not completely sure if Artos would be like a head of his own house, but I think we, I think what would be cool is like we generate our house's history, right, and then see where yeah. that takes us. Yeah. You know? So yeah, okay, okay. That's okay. what I we asked about uh, Falcon before. Uh, so whether or not we create our own houses based on solely our backgrounds, <laughs> or we, you know, collaborate and coll create it here. And I think the answer is pretty obvious. It's, it's collaboration. Yeah, co collaboration. Yes. We do it together. So we we can each all have our own backgrounds. Maybe some of mm. us, you know, have ties or something. Well, but, yeah. I was thinking that if we if we if we've got a house, we should probably have positions in that house, whether mm -hmm. it would be like you know small or big. Yeah. Um, but uh, before it, that, before that, I wanted to mm -hmm. like certify something. Uh, what's mm -hmm. the base we're starting with? So, oh, are we okay. the actual owner of a house we created, or are we serving a house that's owned by someone else? Because mm. that would be a you. huge difference. That that's is a huge you. difference. Yeah, that is entirely up to you. Uh, honestly, Isaac would probably be fine either way. It would be kind of fitting if we were our own house uh, uh, I, I don't know i don't know because here yeah because yeah. that because here's the thing i know we've been joking about isaac is the lord of the house right? right um which i could do but i'm perfectly fine with being like an advisor role for a noble regent or something like that yeah but like you know uh, yeah. like i know uh but like for me uh what i picture uh finn my character is that mm -hmm. uh, he would try to be the head of a certain house like mm. not, not not himself being mm. the head more like he would like to build something from ground up with mm, someone okay else. okay so yeah, well that actually kind of aligns with that aligns with uh, some things that isaac is going for so my question is is well, what is artos's uh opinion on the matter well that's interesting because i guess to sort of accommodate i guess would be like um because what i imagine is that um, Arthas is a, like a veteran, right? He's been fighting, right. or at least he's like um, a veteran knight. And I think what would be cool is that um, I think what could work is that. So I'm trying to think how this would work, but like I'd like to imagine that Arthas's house, like he's originally like a noble, right? I would say, mm -hmm. um, but more okay. of like a soldier. It's not like the first son, so he didn't get like claim to the to the house, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but then, um, while he was away on duty or in war duty, right, mm -hmm. someone like attacked the house, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then his brother was assassinated, and mm -hmm. so was like, and now he's the next in line, but he's not the ruler, right? Which makes sense why, and he has to build the house from ground up because let's say that maybe the house was sort of burned down, mm -hmm. and his family's looking to him to rebuild, but he doesn't know anything. Yeah. Mm. So, so he maybe that's why even by himself. I, yeah, Ooh, I do. You know what? I like after. that a lot. Yeah. So that puts you in position for being like the, the leader, the lord of the house. Yes. And you have okay. to be the only knight in our group, which fits. Yeah, and because, you know. And I think that would make sense for why Artos would 
despite maybe Isaac's mysterious sort of origin, still gets him, right? Like, okay, I need help, and I'm kind of desperate, so I need Isaac. And then ah, that, also Finn, right? That's also perfect fit, because Finn mm-hmm. actually works for a Merc group. Like, he, he, he used to work with uh, a group. Uh, I think it's certain knowledge you guys might have picked up. So he mm-hmm. worked with uh, his uh, like uh, group called Black Adder. Uh, they were a, right. sort of a running group that helps local regions to sort of, uh, you know, deal with the mon- monsters that invades their lands, or you know, uh, if they want someone to scout out some, uh, I don't know, dragonborn camps or and sort of things like that. So uh, mm-hmm. maybe that's why Finn would know Arsos, uh because they're, you know. Path, path maybe we cross. worked oh yeah. yeah we were yeah we have worked together and then now that arto sort of needs some help he probably like yo i know a yeah. mercenary group yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need some help. yeah yo that's Our pretty cool brothers. i like that i yes. like that <laughs> well that would make sense it was like maybe artos and finn were on the on the on the front lines for some battle a long time ago or something yeah. like that um and that's yeah. where they they met mm-hmm. each other um, it kind of also makes sense for Ardos maybe picking up Isaac because, like, Isaac w- is a known like diplomat, mm-hmm. and oh. um, because he is a he is a bard of elegance, mm-hmm. he is known to be able to use his words quite uh, efficiently okay. and effectively. So probably we have picked up uh, sort of an escort mission to escort you to somewhere else for your. I don't know. Uh, diplomatic. Uh... Honestly, <laughs> if if Art if Isaac learned anything about what artists uh, about Artos mm-hmm. and learned about how he wanted to build something from the ground up, that would probably that would probably immediately gather his attention, and that would be enough to ask for him to join the noble house. Nice. Yeah, and Artos knows he's not the charismatic guy, so he's like, <laughs> I, you know, this is the perfect fit, right? Nice. And whatever. And then he, I think Artos would have enough of foresight that there's something with you, right? Mm-hmm. But it, he finds that the uh, risk is well worth it yeah. mm, for yeah. what he needs now. So, like, yeah. Nice. Okay, I'm down with that. Right. That's going to be really interesting because I'm going to be... Wor- so, basically, you're the lord and yeah. I'm your advisor, mm. essentially. Right. Ooh, well, I like that. I like that I'm dynamic. I'm the assassin slash scout group for the lord. <laughs> Nice. Mm. You're you're uh, the brawn. So, <laughs> you're I'm the all the decisions in the to come down. You know what? I will just I'm gonna be the type of lord that like yo, I'm not that part. I'll just leave you to make the decision. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Best lords know what to know how to do it by knowing who can do it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he'll delegate, he'll delegate, yeah. right? So, oh yeah, for sure, for sure. And like I'm very curious to see um, about how artist wants to do things versus how Isaac wants to do things. <laughs> oh God, that's gonna be some conflict, right? There. <laughs> well, that that's what I'm kind of looking for. Is that I'm I'm very interested in that dynamic. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Falcon, if, if Falcon took a view of my my character flaw, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. I need to take a look now. Authority is not always the more most honorable. That'll be interesting. All right. Um, now, here's why I was uh, being very big on you not. Uh um, oh. Uh oh. What? No, it's not the not you. It's not the other guy. <laughs> um, like it is, why I was big on you. Not like trying to establish your house history immediately. Mm, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, because, like I said, we're going to generate it. Not just your house, but also when it was founded and whatever his whatever major events happened in its, in its history. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> So one big event is the house getting raided by a bunch of assholes. And I don't know who did it. Not Those... necessarily. Wow. Not necessarily. That might <laughs> not be. This... That might be your first adventure. To be honest. Mm, okay. Nice. Okay. If you don't get that, that'll probably be your first adventure. Uh... Okay. I like it. Okay. okay. 
This is going to be all players. All right. So if you check your uh, your thing, your, your journal, you should have a handout. Ooh, oh, stats. yeah. Okay. We build yeah. stats. Let's go. Yeah, um, you should have a handout, and it'll show you. It should be titled Your House. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. See, you should see it, and it's blank. It, it, like, everything's blank. It should be blank. Yep. Mm -hmm. I see it. All right, so... Quick, run, or quick rundown of what each of the stats means, because I'm basically ripping off the Game of Thrones RPG to make this for you. Nice. Um, okay. Uh, defense is basically how well defended your house is, or how well defended your lands are, um, like what fortifications you have, um, how well they mesh with the surrounding environment, and so on. Um, influence tells the, is the amount of political power that you have in Immortal. Lands is the amount of land under your direct rule, not necessarily like under a under a subordinate noble, but that you personally rule. Okay. Uh, law is how much control you assert over your lands. Population is pretty self-explanatory. It's how much how many people live in the lands that you control. Um, more people means your land is more productive, but it also means that the, it's harder to govern and there's more potential for crime. Okay. Um, power is your military power. It's number and quality of soldiers that you have at your disposal. And wealth is how rich you are. Okay. Nice. <laughs> so defense, okay. influence, lands, law, population, power, and wealth. Now... What is our stats? <laughs> All right. First, well, first probably things zero first, from we, the start. Not, not quite. First things first. We, uh, you're going to determine where your house is located Ooh, nice. on the map. Yes, which uh, one of the which one of several regions that it's located in, uh, depending on where it is. And then we're by the west coast. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. If, depending, you can choose. This is the one thing that I will let you choose. Um, oh, depending okay. Depending on where the rest of it is going to be rolled randomly, depending on where it is, you will have certain advantages and certain disadvantages. Mm. Hmm. So, uh, right. just to be clear. Uh, is there any sea around the area? Like ocean, water? I mean, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's basically there's one giant continent surrounded by ocean. Ah, yeah, so okay. this is yeah. one giant continent. Yeah, everything else other than this is ocean, I'm going yes. to assume. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Gotcha. Um, actually, I want it to be a thing where our house, or at least where it's located, is actually very, like, um, obscure. Like, it's away from, like, the main. The main capital. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, right. And it would make sense that Arthos would have to ca like leave the house and like campaign, like because he's from far, he's like far away technically, right? Right. Yeah. And I think it's cool because it will give us like leeway to sort of build up, right, the power. Yeah. And right. I mean, yeah. there's a reason why my ha house has to be somewhat obscure because if it's near the capital, it must be some sort of it must have a lot of influence. But it, otherwise, if it's like far away, mm -hmm. then you know. That would make more sense, yeah. Probably to the north? This, I don't know. Yeah, to the north would be cool. Yeah. If north you guys want south, north, that would make sense. That would actually kind of make sense as to why maybe people don't really understand what the fuck is going on with Isaac. <laughs> 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 it's too far away, y'all. Alright, well, let me... Yeah. Sorry, let me read um, the regions, what they, what, what they are, what, uh, give you a basic overview Sweet. of them. So you can figure out like what you plan to do, what you plan to do, and how you, at where you want to put it. First, I need some water. I'm thirsty. Take your time. All right. Yep. The first region is interestingly enough the capital. Some nobles swear their loyalty directly to the throne. Um. And those uh, the houses that do they benefit from having a slightly larger population, improved law, and there have been stronger defenses due to their proximity to the capital. However, the influence of the noble, of the royal house means that all houses sworn directly to the thr throne tend to be smaller, weaker, and poorer. Um, let me double check something here. I need to switch back to this. Okay. Um, 
Your second choice would be the highlands up to the north. Um, it's it's basically the Scottish Highlands. It's inhabited by clans of orcs. Um, have you ever heard the expression? I'm going to take an Irish expression here. Have you ever heard the expression "beyond the pale"? Oh yeah, I, I have heard that. that. Nope. I have heard that. Yeah, that's if you. That's basically if you do something egregiously bad, then it's said to be beyond the pale. In real life, mm -hmm. historically speaking, that was uh, that was a reference to Ireland. In Ireland, the people who lived within cities like Dublin were called the Pale Irish, and the Irish who lived beyond the cities were called the Wild Irish. So if you did something that was said to be beyond the Pale, then you did something that only a savage Wild Irish would do. Ah. Oh, so, okay. Racism? <laughs> um, so in the north, you have... Uh, I don't know well, it's a little bit nationalist. <laughs> in the north... You have the pale orcs and the wild orcs who have a similar disposition. Scottish, mm. angry, and violent. Um, the North is, uh, it's, it, there's not that many houses located up there. Nobody really wants to deal with the orcs. They swear their loyalty to the throne only tenuously, and quite a few clans simply refuse to acknowledge the throne's authority. So there's plenty of land up there for you. Okay. And you do benefit from improved defenses. Additionally, houses that are up there are a little more famous because they hard land breeds hard people. Ah. However, mm. they are smaller and poorer mm. than normal. And the clans will the wild clans will cause endless trouble for you. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh my god, this is so it feels so, so much like Icewind Dale. This is amazing. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the next region are the Seven Forts. Seven um, Forts. Okay. Yeah, the forts there, there's seven of them. You get to pick which fort you're on. Okay. Uh, but they all have the same rate. They're all basically the same. Um like I said, there are a series of massive interconnected castles that form one contiguous defense per island. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um Um, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to deal with the typing. Center. This is the same end. <laughs> yes. Um, um, these the, castles, the... So first thing you need to know about these castles is they are under siege. They have been under siege for the past 30 years, and Immorta has been the armies of Immorta have been unable to break them. Hmm. Right. Okay. Um, but uh, the castles, like I said, they are strong. They are able to hold back. They are very difficult to besiege, but they are small and poor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, on the other hand, you do get like like much with the Highlands, hard places, hard times, and hard lands breed hard people. So you so you do tend to have a slightly higher power rating than normal. Right. Okay. Alright, um, next up is the Flatlands, directly to the east of the forts and west of the mount hills and mountains. This is uh, one of the two bread baskets, the other one being the Reach on the western end. Mm -hmm. Sorry, not the western, the eastern side, sorry, eastern side. Okay. Um, it is, the, it, like, it is uh, due to the fact that it grows grain, it produces a little more wealth than normal. Mm -hmm. So your house is going to be a little richer. It's also a large population center. A lot of people live there. Okay. And there's also plenty of land for you to settle in. However, this because there's so many houses, it's difficult for you to stand out, and the lay of the land makes defense difficult. Mm -hmm. So your castle is uh, not... You're not going to really have that big of a castle there. There's a right. lot of swamps there, too, particularly near the coast. So if you have a castle, your castle's probably going to sink. Nah. <laughs> um, yep. Next up is the hill country, the foothills surround the various foothills surrounding the mountains on all sides. Um, the flatlands, seven forts, highlands, the capital. Creating 
reason why Isaac would be into each location. Hmm. Yeah. Now, uh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I had to quickly agitate something. Um, All good. Yeah. The the hill country. It's it's basically um it's basically like a like the gold rush in America. Mm-hmm. The hills are there's gold and then there are hills and a lot of people are going out there to get it. Yeah, everyone's going there. Yeah, everyone wants to strike it rich. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Due to the frontier nature of the town, hang on, I'm gonna, let me sorry. Due to the frontier nature of the hills, yeah, there's really very few permanent settlements. There's very poor law. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, not many people live there, so more, most of them are itinerants. Mm-hmm. Um, one, two good things are, uh, are do, do exist for houses in the hill country though. First is that there's plenty of wealth to go around due to mines, panning right. in the rivers, things like that. And if, and the houses that do that, that are able to successfully establish themselves there have struck it rich. So they do have slightly more influence than other houses. Mm, okay. 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 All right. Next up is the mountains, the central mountains. Um, these uh, houses, this is, again, well, this isn't exactly a hard place for these hard people kind of place. It's, how do I put this? It's, it's, it's almost like uh, Switzerland in a way. Hmm. It's very heavily defendable, and mountains, the houses mm-hmm. located in the mountains tend to be uh, slightly, they like the old money almost. Not necessarily rich, but ancient, and they have, uh, and they're ancient, they have, they've had more time to build themselves up. Um, yeah. Downside, though, is that there are, there is not many people live there, and there's not that much land to go around. Additionally, due to the terrain of the mountains, there are, there's a significant bandit problem out there. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, even the most powerful and established lords... Still gotta not, deal with that. Yeah. Yeah, they do not ride beyond their gates without, an, without a small army behind them. Right. Mm-hmm. Alright, next up, we have the Reach, the far side, the eastern side of the continent. Mm-hmm. Another breadbasket of Immorta. Um, and it is uh, they they claim anyway that um, that their land is where knighthood that traditions of knighthood and chivalry originated. Ah. Mm. Okay. They, that's that's what they that's what they say anyway. Um, but regardless, there's not enough history left to actually confirm to guarantee or deny that. It. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So no one really says anything um, okay. as such. They do have, um, as such, they do have a slightly more influence than normal. Mm-hmm. They also, due to the fact that it is a flat plain that grows a lot of grain, they have lower defenses. They they can't really build big castles like they do in the mountains, but they do have a slightly higher population and slightly higher wealth. Mm-hmm. Of course, the fact that there are um, there are a number, there are some. Um, that this is a bastion of knighthood that supposedly the finest knights in the world come from here. You do have, uh, I wouldn't necessarily call them outlaws, but definitely like itinerants uh, who come in and wreak havoc just so they have an excuse to cross blades with the knights. The Fae uh, in particular are bad about this. You have like uh, red, red caps crossing over to pick fights with them. <laughs> Nice. For example. Interesting. <laughs> and then like and then finally mm-hmm. finally to the south on the south end uh, you have uh, the southern what they call the southern badlands simply because the terrain there is so rough and so heavily forested that it's that very few people are willing able or willing to settle there. Um, it origi- the this uh, the southern part is considered the luck a lucky place though because when the dragons invaded a thousand years ago their forests were spared 
they didn't burn during the, in the they didn't burn under dragon fire. Um, down there, um, the terrain is actually extremely defendable. So castle, so there are some some very strong castles are built down there, and the people who live there are tough and of a strong martial bent. They tend basically instead of diplomacy, they do te- they tend to draw their swords and fight. Yeah. Right. It's a con- they're like my control. Diplomacy, oh. my blade. Yeah. <laughs> I named my bl- yes. We are yes. I have named my blade uh, words, so I am going to stab you with words. Yes. <laughs> but, I mean, even then, they have like a sense of honor. Like it's basically almost like a a duel, almost, but on a, on an army size scale. So if you can't solve it by diplomacy, you deploy diplomacy. <laughs> you, you, yeah, you deploy an army. You deploy basically. diplomacy yeah. or Agni Kai. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you basically you, know, you deploy an army and you Agni Kai that yeah. basically. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, we're gonna Agni Kai, but with an actual army. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, this right. conflict, yeah, these conflicts typically don't extend beyond more than one or two fights. Right, gotcha. So, where do you want your house? Hmm. Oh, this is a lot of good one, The South of oh. Badland sounds interesting too. Like yeah. it got this yeah. Texas I, I'm, in, I'm interested in what your uh, <laughs> you I'm interested on in what your guys' thoughts are. Yeah, I'm I think inter- it's easier by crossing out things that we definitely do not want to be in. About that. Oh, okay, sure, like, sure. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I don't want to be near the capital. I think we established. Yeah, yeah so I also, that, that I also sure. don't want to be near the capital as well. Mm-hmm. It would make more sense. Uh, yeah. So capital is out. So okay. um, not, I'm not into the flat that much. Yeah, it it's like okay. it, it's like a swampy area. I don't think it's yeah. interesting yeah. enough yeah. for us. So that one's um, seventh part. I don't. That's kind of, that sounds like hard mode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Seven. Guys... Seven. Seven forts. Also, uh, it doesn't make a much sense if we're trying to start from the yeah, ground up because it way sounds like the hardcore. Yeah. I think the same yeah. goes with Central Mountains because they are older houses. They probably well, don't like. They tend to be older yeah, houses. Uh, and that's yeah. what I said. What I'm saying. They probably already established the area. Yeah, and there's not a lot enough. of like places to start to build up, True. right? So that, yeah. not a lot of land. Probably I think what would be great, Southern Flat Badlands also has sort of like gotten because it's rough and there's like not a lot of people there, right? Yeah, I think that's rough, perfect. It's a rough land with rough people, though. Yeah, yeah. But I think that's sort of perfect, right? I, that's I think how you the reach is also. Your- Good because yeah, see, yeah. right, right now, yeah. I'm also thinking like I like the Salvard Badlands because it's you know rough terrain, lucky mm-hmm. defensible. It's a little bit different style of people, uh, but I do really like the Reach, especially because it's yeah. like it's where Knighthood originated. Yeah. There is some influence which Isaac would be interested in, um, but the defense and also the also the fact that they're also the fact that uh, uh, Falcon made mention about the Fey kind of popping mm-hmm. by. It would make some things about him make a little ah, bit okay. more sense, um, and uh, I, I don't know, but yeah, the reach in the Sovereign Badlands seem pretty interesting to me. What about the yeah, Highlands? I mean, the Highlands uh, is a is a good one too. I think those yeah, three like, def- definitely. Yeah, those three are really good. It's just that yeah. the only thing that sort of puts me away from the Highlands is like um, I feel like you have to be established already, like because you're yeah, famous you as well, right? Yeah, you have to be right? strong so, enough. Uh, in yeah. order to it, fend off in this crazy, yeah, no. you know, savage yeah. place. Yeah. for our house. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So South that will Bad- mean the upper five, four. Uh, the capital, the highlands, seven forts, and flatlands are all out of, you, you know, the yeah. Yeah. Are, are I think honestly, selected. the real contest is just the reason for the southern flatlands, which I can see both going for it. Yeah. So, okay. Right. If you can't decide, I'll roll. I I mean, I if I'm gonna not gonna lie, I'm kind of leaning more for the reach, because mm-hmm. especially since because there's influence, I think, and especially with knighthood, okay. I think we would, I think we would all get a lot. You know we would what? all be able to interact with a lot of stuff in the reach. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what, Falcon? Uh, how far away you know is the central mountain to the reach? 
Is it just <laughs> you know far. one? Okay, that's you can that's perfect. Only a few days. That, that's perfect. Uh, can you please set uh uh Castle Wyvernfall's location there? Sure. Thank you. Okay, then we what, we select castle? the reef. Uh, no, 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 not not ours. It's something you know. Uh, it's a well-known landmark that you guys never been there before. That's okay. it. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Right here. yeah. Wait, how, how far is the southern Badlands from the reach? Um, depends on where you live. You, maybe we could be like somewhat like in the reach, but also sort of in near between? the southern Badlands. I, I like that. I could work yeah. for that. You want, so you want your house to be somewhere around here-ish? Yeah. 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 I think okay. we can all see, agree like, on that. Maybe southern Badlands, maybe we're like, yo, we need to like ask these people with for some help right because well, that's be that yeah i agree with justin in the sense where if we if we if we have our house in the reach then but we're close enough to the sovereign badlands and we could always just take a trip down to the sovereign badlands exactly. nice. I think yeah. that's great like maybe we can be a house that sort of has we're split in like the region region like <laughs> Yeah, why not? The best of both worlds. I think that would be great. Exactly. That's actually good. That, that yeah, actually that makes deal. sense because you're on the border of each region. Yeah. And so, no one would, exactly. you know, grow from there. So that's our perfect starting point. Yeah, nice. and now nice. maybe Smart. some asshole was like, we need to get this We need to get this house so we can expand. So we're going to destroy this house. <laughs> your, family, your family is right down there. You see it? Yep. So yeah. Got, yep. All right, now let us start generating. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, so. Woo! I can't wait. Spin. Um, Finn Swift Palm. Yep. Uh, I would like, we're going to start with defense. I would like you to roll 7d6 for me. All right. Slash roll 7d6. Yo. 23. Right. Is, that, is that high, low? <laughs> Everyone seems decent. That's we'll find decent. out once we're once we're done. I'll, I'll tell you once we're done. All right. Um, next up is Artos. I'd like you to roll seventy six for influence. Just remember, okay. like everything else in RPGs, the higher the better. <gasps> Twenty okay. is uh, it's it's average. Basically. Okay. So we're we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Yeah, you're not doing that badly. All right, Isaac, seventy six. Seventy six. Here's the low roll. Oh god! <laughs> it's fine, it's you fine. have it's to fine. say it. It's fine. It's fine. It's you fine. We can say it. No ben. issue. Ben, I need another seventy-six, please. All right. Uh, okay. Come on. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. This is. Oh, we're in law. This is. Oh, your law is high. Our right, next is population. Okay. Law is twenty-nine. Okay. Population. Now, you Ardos. Ardos. You got this, Ardos. You got this. Ooh. I think that's oh, Ardos. Nice. That's, yeah, that's, pretty, pretty, that's good. pretty good. That's uh, All right, Isaac, that. Isaac, roll for Isaac, roll for power. <laughs> Am I gonna be the one who rolls the power? <laughs> Don't. Yes. yes. Oh, oh, that's cool. Unlimited I we, power. I can see why we have targets on our backs, guys. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> we are so strong. No, this this last roll will determine how, why you have whether or not you have a target on your back. Finn, roll seventy six for wealth. Come on. Oh, we're oh, so no. rich! We're fucking rich! <laughs> All right, now hang on. I'm going to quickly save this and. That. All right. Um, next, I am going to add the modifiers from your land, from your new homeland. Mm. So give me a moment to work on this. Yes. God. Can I just say, if our house was taken down and our power was 36, I'm very scared who our enemy might be. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, if our houses were taken down, we can always take all the monies. We have 30 of them. We have 30 health, which is starting <laughs> free. Well. We can start somewhere else. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Scorched Earth. All right, we're going. We're starting. <laughs> we're, we're like starting we're gonna, we'll probably be like the running house, you know, the the house that roams through other places. Uh, what, what was that movie? Uh, uh, you know, like each city becomes a huge uh, steampunk machine that. Oh roams Jesus! The land. Uh, what was that? Oh, I, I, I know what you're talking yeah, about. I, oh. I forgot the name though. Yeah, it was so terrible, but the idea is so good. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, idea is cool. I believe it was, it was terrible, so you watched it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it was this one. Uh, let's uh, see. Let me see. 
Hold on. Yeah, immortal yeah, engines. Immortal yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh god. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. So now, if I've saved everything, so if you check your house, you should see your uh, stats. All right. Let's okay. See I see. Wow, our impact is higher. Okay. Yeah, your defense blows yeah. though. Okay. Yeah, our lands is garbage. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That bad right. day. Raise his hand. <laughs> I did that. Okay, now I need I need all of you to roll one d six for me. All, right. all of us? Yes, all of you. Just one. One d six for each of you. Five. Five. Nice. Four. 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 Nice. Five. Ah, nice. Yes. Good. All right. Um, Artos, where do you want to place that five? Which stat do you think needs it? Defense. 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 Oh. <laughs> Defense. <laughs> the okay. Uh, three. All right, save. We can expand their lands. We don't need to increase it. Yeah, Let's just focus. Expand later. We should. Well, honestly, um, we should probably have one stat that's garbage. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. All right, Quality over quantity, my friends. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Finn, where would you like to place your four? Definitely power. Power. Woo! Fighting round and out. Forty power. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. All right, um, Isaac. Where do you want to place your five? Uh, definitely influence. Nice. Influence. Okay. Now, before we start rolling your history, you should uh, refresh your uh, house handout so you can see what your stats are now. Oh, before it, we start rolling your history. Yeah. It, 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 so it's okay. Yeah. That's good. That's so, good. Yeah. So you should be able to see it. So with the defense of twenty-three, your home is defensible. You likely have a at least a couple towers built to watch over your land, or maybe a keep in a central area. Um, with an influence of 37... Let me find... Come on. Stop that. Stop. Mm -hmm. right, with an influence of 37, okay. your rank is Viscount... Oh, or Viscount Tess. It's a middling rank. It's mm. not. Um, you're well known, but not as uh, not as famous as some of the other houses. Sounds um, correct. Yeah, with the uh, land of tw yes, with the land of twelve, it's a small speck of land, about no size of a small island or a small portion, mm -hmm. a, a small portion of a larger island. Gotcha. Um, That's fair. Yeah, with a law of 24, it is the typical level of law throughout Immorta. Mm -hmm. Crime, banditry, and the like, it's common, but it's not out of control. Mm -hmm. it, it's mostly like one or two, like, it, it's like uh, like individuals, like, you're not like, having armies of bandits mugging entire towns. Yeah. Right. So it's bad, but it could be better. Right. Gotcha. Uh, all right. Uh, 29 is on the high end of average of the typical population. Um, most people, most of your peasants live on farmsteads or small hamlets, but you may have like a small town abut adjacent to your, to your primary fortification. Mm -hmm. right. With a power of 40, you have a powerful house. You have a powerful army. A diverse, it is a diverse force of trained soldiers, possibly including cavalry. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! You may also have, uh, I mean, like I said, I'm ripping off the Game of Thrones RPG here. They call it a banner house. You might have a knight who, a lesser lord who is sworn directly to you. Ooh, oh. interesting. Yes. Yeah, those um, bastards. No, I, I'm just saying those bastards. Every, yes. every person that might have taken down the house, those bastards. Yes. <laughs> With the wealth of 35, your wealth level is prosperous. You have the funds to live in accordance with your station. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, let's talk about your history. Okay. I'm this excited is some, for this one. This is something... Uh, I'm not going to let you choose. I'm, you're going to roll for it. Okay. Mm. Okay. There are six distinct eras in uh, in Immortus history, and your house was affected by it or was founded around that time. In Immortus history, does not pass people by. 
it right. it it affects everybody. Even like peasants, for example, mm-hmm. have stories about their ancestors who participated in great events. Mm-hmm. So, who wants to roll one d six to determine what era your house was founded in? Mm. I think we just go down the line. So I think go Finn, you got this. Oh, okay. You got this, Finn. Uh, all right. All right. One six, we'll find out which uh, theory. Oh, what? oh we're old. We're old. If that's like old, like it is, is we're era, extremely it's young. called. It's you're extremely old. That's the age of monsters. What more than a thousand f- years. Oh, more than that's... a thousand years ago. That's amazing. Here. Let me Ooh. explain. More than a thousand years ago, Immortal was inhabited entirely by humans. So what would happen is monsters would come from the west and frequently plague the land. They would attack, try to establish smaller, small settlements. It would later become known that these these monsters were fleeing from the draconic menace. But this, your house was founded well before the, that discovery was made. Your home, your family is older than even the royal family. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, Your house okay. is ancient, but we'll see if it's powerful. Artos, roll um, 1d6 plus 3. This is how many significant events happen to your house. <laughs> wow. Wow. Now, so many. <laughs> hmm. Wait, I want to type on. Wait, hold on. Um, where can I put this? Uh... I'll give you. House a, I'll give you an. I'm. I'm actually going to record like a simple, uh, of like a brief bullet points in your house stats. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's good. I'll give okay. you. I'll give you. Uh, all players can be edited by all players. Yeah. If you have a mysterious note, you should be able to edit, so you can okay. put it in. There. We can write down some information. Yeah. And I'm. I'm uh, sure. Right. We'll, sure. We'll, I'm writing down a couple of information all as right. well. Uh, all right. Um. All right. Now, first thing you need to know before you roll for your house right now. First, I'm going to stop the music, as much as I like the song. <laughs> um, first thing you need to know, this event that you're rolling for, this is how your, fa- your ha- noble house was founded. Okay. This first event is how um, is the founding event. So Isaac... So I would like you to roll 3d6 to 3D6. determine 3d6 to determine the event that founded the family. Okay. Let's go, boys. 10. Ten. Nice. Oh, um... Ooh, decline. That's an interesting one. Um... Decline. It, you rolled decline. Basically, hmm. your house was in a period of decline, whether from poor marriage, downturn in trade, or series of losses in battle. This is your first roll. Your house was probably born from a bad marriage, such as a desperate lord wedding his daughter to a merchant prince, or a major branch of the family went extinct, leaving cousins and second cousins and uncles to rule. Right. Or probably they so, just go extinct. <laughs> probably. Uh, do we get to choose, or do we roll for this too? Uh you get to choose. Uh, what was the descent? What happened? Well, uh, let's let's family to rise let's. To uh, what what do you think, Artos? Because essentially, it, it essentially this would be part of your family's backstory. Then, I think because mm. since the house was founded at the age of monsters, right? At least when they were coming in. Yeah. What's we really discussed? I'm a tiefling. Right. Mm. So the house must have transitioned from humans to tieflings at some point. Ah. Mm. Oh, nice. Nice. Right. Yeah, so that would I be think this is the decline. So I would say like maybe the main branch of like people, right? Mm-hmm. The the humans actually went extinct. And it sort of brought up like maybe the tiefling branch of the family, whether they were adopted or taken care of. They they yeah. were sort of mm-hmm. They had to take care of the house now, and maybe that's why we're in a period of decline because we're tieflings, right? Who the fuck will trust us, right? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. I like yeah. that. That's a good idea. Now, uh, more 
Say, Leyline, more to your, um, uh, more, more uh, statistically speaking, influence, uh, not influence, sorry, this will hurt uh, your house. Okay. The descent it will makes hurt sense. your house. Um, so I need, one good thing is none of your stats can be decreased below one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Not during character creation, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so Isaac rolled the 3d6. I would like Finn, Artos, and Isaac to all roll 1d6 for me. Oh, yeah. no. Start with Finn. Yes. Three. Start with Finn. Now Artos. Three. Oh. Isaac. Oh. Two. Okay, we rolled relatively low. We rolled okay, that's good. Low. And I need Finn to roll one last d6 for me. Uh, come on. It's a six. Oh. No. oh okay. Look. All right. So the first roll, your first roll, your three, reduces your influence by three. Oh, okay. Me. Your second roll reduces your lands by not by three. What the <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we have smaller lands. The third smaller one. Lands. Yeah, your third roll reduces your power by two. Oh, that's a, that's, a, that's, that's not that's not that bad. That's not that. And bad. your fourth roll reduces your wealth by six. Oh no! No! no. I mean, we're still at thirty. That's not bad. Lands is hilarious. Twenty-nine, now. actually. We're at twenty-nine. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, Artos, I would like you to roll three d six for me now. We're not even He's a third of the way through. <laughs> we are. I want our. I want Eleven. our. I want our like house to just keep getting smaller yeah, and smaller. Like, eventually, it goes I was like, yeah. <laughs> All right, this one's actually good. This one's infrastructure. Okay, nice. Basically, you entered a period of prosperity. You built up your house. Do we get that something? That makes sense back? after the decline. <laughs> yes. Um. Yes, Isaac. You are going to roll two d six. Roll two d six for me, please. Uh, yes, sorry. Uh, 2d6 coming right up. Yeah. Boom! That's a solid Oh, that's 10. pretty hard. Alright, well, no, not the 10. Look at the 4 and the 6, Isaac. Okay. Take the 4 and put it at any stat you want. Oh. Um... Which stat hmm. do you think needs it? Land, please. <laughs> no, I want land to be as pathetic as no. possible. No. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe defense or wealth. I don't know. Um, uh, okay. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in. Well, uh, I'm looking at, um, I'm looking at because I'm assuming I'm gonna be able to put the six somewhere, right? As well. Yes, you'll be able to put yeah. the six somewhere where you in the in any stat that you didn't put before. I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that it would be interesting to just put uh, put four into wealth and then six into law because that means our I wealth goes that up. That, yeah. that makes sense. Okay, so think, four into wealth. Yeah, and then six into law. Because if we're a small yeah. place, then I'm pretty sure we have a lot of control, right? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. We have yeah. Control, All right. Control. So, uh, what exactly does infrastructure represent? This is a. This is basically your your building. It's a period of peace and prosperity, a time when your house was remembered for its growth and its expansion. Ooh. Okay. Mm. Um, interesting. So I have to come up with something, right? Yeah. Okay. So you chose to put it in uh, wealth and law. What exactly wealth. does that mean? Like, how did we get? The first how did we get wealth, wealth and law? Um, yeah. it could be you, uh, I don't know. It could be that you basically you well, law is basically the amount of control you exert over your land. So it could be that you. If you began to exert more control, and as a result, your lands produce more money. Mm, maybe, yeah. maybe, um, maybe the 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 family line um, created um, almost like uh, whether it be like constables or something like that. Like maybe, maybe they they created a small interior faction that would work for the noble house for the betterment of uh, of of law, like uh, abiding by the law or yeah. something like that. Okay. Maybe we basically like I'm thinking that it would be interesting. Like not, it doesn't have to have that much influence or whatever. It could just but it's simply that you just send more soldiers out to patrol your lands. Yeah, I'm thinking almost like if I wanted to say it would be kind of interesting if we had like the Dai Li 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> like something something like that where we created uh, maybe a less corrupt version of the Dai Li to kind of keep an eye on things. And yeah. because of things, you know, law less law being broken, we ended up getting a little bit more wealth. Okay. That okay. should be it. All right. All right. Uh, so Isaac rolled that. Uh, Finn, I would like you to roll 3d6 for me now. 3d6. All right. 3d6. It's 12. Good. 12. Wow, we're just going from, That's we went from 10, 11, and 12. Let's just go up the list. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's the thing. 12 is ascent. It's kind of like the opposite of descent. Ah. Okay. Um, nice. Okay. Basically... Basically, um, an advantageous marriage, a great deed for the for the kingdom, heroism in battle, of more or something that improved Wait, the fortunes of your house. Didn't you say that uh, a tiefling ri risen to the godhood? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the event that brought us population and you know fame. And like we were trusted now because yeah, like because now that, that we have. Event. Okay, I, I don't see why not. Yeah, Go right ahead. Yeah. You have you have a literal god as a part of your house now. Nice, nice. nice. I like it. As, like it. Okay, um, roll. Uh, I will need. I'll need all of you to roll 1d6 for me, please. And then Finn's Hey, we're getting those back. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, come on. Let's Make go. it count. Five. Nice. It. Come on. Five. Yes. Finn. Nice. All right, uh, Artos. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Okay. And uh, then again, roll 1d6. Oh, uh, again? Okay. Yeah, last one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Six! Yes! Mm. All right. Um, so that is five into your influence, four into your land, four oh, into your power, and six into your wealth. Oh, oh we have so much there we go. Power. Yes, uh, Artos, roll 3d6 for me, please. Oh, no. We're only a third of the way done. That can easily be taken away. Oh. Eight. Oh, you went down. Okay. Uh, okay, eight is a uh, scandal. Uh. No! Some scandal. This includes uh, failed conspiracies, cranking out a few bastards, and so on. Things like things that a noble family would consider scandalous. Uh, what fair? happened? Yeah, it could be an affair. I mean, that may not necessarily could be an affair. It could be an affair with like a commoner. Mm -hmm. Could be an affair with your own sister. Go full Game of Thrones. Yes. Um. Push someone out of the window. Well, that's, it that's... would be. Well, yeah. uh, this so is just me uh, Well, who, who's 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 uh, who's got the scandal then? Uh, well, who's who's uh, thinking about the scandal? That would be. I you. have one. Ooh, I okay. think, what is your scandal? I think what would be cool is like immediately after we sort of gain back sort of like credibility because yeah 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 a house member ascended to godhood right yeah what would be interesting is maybe the descendants became like they're not necessarily they they the scandal act could be something like they did something like dishonorable like they slayed each other because like they got because. Loyalty well, if you're to your talking family, about so dishonorable, if you're talking about dishonor, it could be, um, it could be like you broke your word. I mean, um, something dishonorable. Yeah. yeah, it could be like you betrayed an ally on the field of battle. Um, around, or, uh, or you abandon your troops. Uh, <laughs> like, I, I want to do the Naruto stuff. Like, you, you, you abandon your troop only to save your friend, but that is count as dishonorable. You, well, you know what would be interesting if, like, yeah, maybe it was just, like, there was, there was maybe, um, maybe there was a time where this house was called upon. Mm -hmm. This is a very classic one, where this house yeah. was called upon to, we need, show. we need, and they didn't show. Mm -hmm. They just okay, flat out just, just yeah. I mean, that would I make a lot of sense. Because, like, yeah. the house, if they were, like, gods, they're like, oh, wow, this is, like, one of the houses of the gods, right? We have yeah. to call them. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then we just didn't then... answer for whatever yeah. reason. So. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, now, to give you guys a little more history, I'll actually read you the six ages of Immorta. Okay. Mm -hmm. The six ages. The age you were founded in is the age of monsters. Lo your family was royal, basically, back when the monsters were invading. Nobody knew about the dragons. Your family was noble long before Immorta was united. The second major event was a thousand years ago. Your house, when the when Immortal was united beneath the first king, 
and they fought the dragons back. The third one was about 900 years ago. It was called, it was a civil war called the time of the broken throne. Um, oh. At one point, at that point, um, a group of people rose up and said, hey, no, we are the real heirs to the throne of the first king, and you're going to give us the throne. And the royal family said, you and what army? And the pretenders said, what army? Our army, of course. Mm. And it was a violent civil war. Mm. Um, the fourth era was called the Highland Conquest. Uh, so until that point, the Highlands had remained stubbornly free. They had fought alongside the first king as allies, not as subordinates. So Immortal decided to change that 700 years ago over the course of a violent 20-year campaign to bring to bring the Highlands under their control. They, it's like I say, the Highlands swear loyalty to the crown only in name. So your scandal may well have been you were called on to help with the conquest, but you refused for whatever reason. Mm, okay. I think what would be interesting is was like, what if we were called upon by like the first like the people that held the throne in the civil war, and we didn't answer. So the so the basically the royal family, the civil war ended with the pretenders getting wiped out. Oh, or yeah. wait, wait. absolutely no mercy to them. Oh, or we can like the pretenders said they called us, you know. And the, I think that oh, would the make more sense. Won, because they but they yeah, yeah. they considered this okay. You must be part of their. So did your family? And so, it's disarmed. Hang on. So you're saying? So you're saying basically your family fought on the side of the pretenders? No, 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 no. And the pretenders said. Called, the pretenders said they called upon no, there's us. A, you, but you we can't, never there's show. a difference of, there's a difference between 200 of 200 years between the broken throne and the highlands mm, okay. uh, there's a difference we have to we have to either years. choose between the broken throne or the highlands yes, i think it would be I, I think well here's my question to artos and finn then it would be interesting because it's meant to be like a scandal and maybe it would be something um yeah like that because the question becomes like um was the scandal that we refused to help during the 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 pretenders mm -hmm. Um, or did we refuse to help the original royal family? I think. I, I think say... it's a scandal if we refuse to help the fam like the royal family, because like if we refuse to the pretenders, that would be like favorable, right? In the eyes, yeah, of yeah no, 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 I, I, was, in the eyes uh, of the people. I, I want to explain this a little bit further, so we, you know, you you guys know what I'm talking. Uh, by saying that refusing the pretenders, it was more like the pretenders already announced our involvement in this battle so the though we didn't show up it's considered the royal family has left uh some doubt to the fam to our house because they th have suspicions that we might be involved but we never actually do anything that actually implies our involvement you know so, I so feel it's, like it's always a rumor hmm. saying, okay, they they might Happy have a hand the in royal this. Family. Yes. Okay. I don't know. I mean, like, I feel like something more cut and dry would have been much more scandalous. Okay. Personally, like, because because I think if it was just very clear, like we we refused to help the 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 royals at the time mm -hmm. right and that's something that has basically been like well you picked a side and that was a very like a lot of basically any any houses that had ties to the royal family they remember that they remember which side you chose mm -hmm. and that could be something that could like bite us in the ass later if we end up meeting a family that was that was originally associated with the the old royals mm -hmm. um I don't know. I feel like that that would that would make sense anyway. I think what I think we can combine sort of thing like where we declined to help the the throne, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We declined to help the royal family, and the pretenders use that as sort of like not okay. necessarily leverage, but like mm -hmm. they use it like in response, like, oh yeah, you know that family that declined helping you. Well, there's a reason for that because yeah. they're with us, yeah. like as a buff. Ah, yeah, you know what? I, I like that. I, I, I like, like that. that. Almost then, like to basically the basically they said, well, they clearly support us, and we're like, well, no, we yeah. didn't say that. We but, just don't support but, anyone, but you know, the, yeah. but, <laughs> the rumor has been spread, so there's nothing. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I like that. That's it. I like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
On the other hand, you guys now understand why I said uh, don't try to set everything in stone right now, right away. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Isaac, roll another 3d6, please. Okay. Big roll Isaac, let's go. 3d6. That's a 12. Another ascent. Nice. Ooh. Ascent. That's good. All right. Uh, so what was this ascent? Uh huh. Okay, ascent. Okay, we had a good ascent. Uh, so that means you would be in the Highlands Conquest. So, mm. if you want. okay. Well, if it's in the Highlands Conquest, what would have been something that would have? Because okay, here's my question. Um, who? Uh, here's who came out on top of that conquest? Is the my Highlands? question. Yeah, the Highlands. Florida did. Just a mortar in general. Yeah, they yeah they or no, no specific house. Um, maybe maybe there was maybe there was a particular faction of orcs that were known to be just ruthlessly barbaric, and, and because we we have been said to have a pretty decent mm -hmm. army, maybe we came in and helped at a very pivotal battle mm -hmm. that gave us a lot of like reputation. Um, almost like basically the reverse of what happened yeah. in the in the years past. Instead of us yeah. refusing to come to fight, we did come to fight for this particular yeah. battle. Yeah. Oh, and we can say that we have our house doesn't involve in uh, the fights between the, us, uh, yeah, our own party. But once it's outsiders, we we just we do sink it. Them <laughs> mm -hmm. with all, everything we've got. That's why I, I just I, yeah I just I think I think call to arms we yeah. we helped uh, so, with with our forces we uh, helped um, win a very yeah. pivotal pivotal battle. Yeah, battle. Your heroism and your heroism helped cover up the. Well, can I, can I give a suggestion to like what was like the how you know the the mm. tides changed like maybe our house like since we're let's say we're far we're far away from the highlands right mm -hmm. essentially because yeah, it's right. the north yeah. south. Right, mm -hmm. so our house probably marched like let's say consecutive days nice. so that we can help in the pivot. And then they were in battle; they were about to lose. Mm -hmm. And then our house has cavalry, so he just charged in from like mm -hmm. the, the last second. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Like that, right? Like right when the when it's all hope was lost, that's yeah. when our house came in with We're the cavalry. Knight yeah. in yeah. shining yeah. Fucking, armor. Ri fucking yeah. riders of Rohirrim. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. First things first. I realized we forgot to roll to see how the scandal penalized you. Um, oh no! So uh, I'm going to need all of you to roll one d six for me, please. Not again. Low, low. Yes. I rolled a it's one. A, it's a two. Oh, no! <laughs> it, it's okay. Oof. All right. So you rolled a one. That uh, Isaac reduces your influence by one. Okay. Uh, Finn reduces your lands by Not the two. Not the <laughs> And Artos reduces your power by six. Oh, uh, okay. that, that makes a lot of sense, honestly, for this yeah. scandal. <laughs> yeah, I know that makes yeah. sense. Now I would like you. Now I'd like uh, all of you to roll one d six yet again, so we can do the ascent. The ascent. Come on, hi. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, oh that's a... oh, hey. hey. That's your power back. That's good. We got one. Hey. And I need Finn to roll one d six for wealth. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Roll another one. Hi. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Um, Artos, I would like you to roll 3d6 for me so we can get your sixth event. Sixth event. Oh, no. That's uh, even no, lower. That's, that's bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Up and say, down. Up and down. Say, uh... Oh, no. Oh no. Actually, no, 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 you know what? No, no. Actually, that might not be. Uh... Hmm. That could be. I'm curious what Triple Ones does. Yeah. Triple Ones, yeah. you do not want that. That is, <laughs> that is uh, Doom, and that redu Triple Ones reduces all your stats by 2d6. Ooh, oh, that's a rough one. Yeah. Yes. Um. No, what you got is a very interesting one. I'm trying to figure out how do I how do I describe this to you. Um, it's called uh, it's got it's called madness. Really? Oh, no. Yes, insanity. You're uh, a particularly important figure in your house was affected by madness. 
some kind of insanity for some reason. They were controlled by the Fae, probably, since I know that's the big thing y'all were were, uh, were holding on to. Um, mm. They could have read a book that somebody was not meant to, that they were not oh, meant to wait. read. I, I, they could have tried magic, the hand of magic, and fail spectacularly. I feel like, uh, can we use the humble wood stuff? Like at this, no, some, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 not. I'm, I'm saying the concept, not, not the material. All right, uh, just hear me out. Uh, can we say a fey lord like, like what happened in Humblewood? Somebody get humbled. Uh, like maybe the fey lord got interested into seeing the, this, this region and play a prank, on its people. On our house, I think a fa- I think a Fey Lord. I do like the idea of a Fey Lord fucking with her house. Yeah, though. yeah, that would make because sense. Because we're famous, so he was like, oh, I, I want to see what the fuss is about." Oh, guys. Yeah, that's more like you. It's probably more like, "Oh, you guys, uh, you guys take pride in your yeah. house, huh? All right, let's knock you down a peg." Yeah. I do kind of yeah, like that. This, yeah. This okay. Like so maybe that. like maybe like a trickster fay mm-hmm. um uh caused one of the leaders of the time to make some absolutely baffling decisions that cost us yeah. in a lot of ways. Yeah. Well, not maybe not necessarily cost you. Some of them may have been good. Here's okay. here's how madness works. First things first, I am going to increase all of your stats by six. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Oh, then we have to roll to take it down, I think. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Justin's, Justin's got it. So, five, eighteen, six. We're going to knock you down a peg. Oh, but actually, eight, we just gave you another one by accident. Seven. So, there you go. <laughs> All right. Now, um, I'm going to need each of you to roll 2d6 for me. That's okay, how yeah, that makes sense. That okay. will be how much your stats are reduced by. Come on. Low, 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 low. I tried. Oh, oh, fuck. Really? oh, can you believe me? Oh. Uh, so I need to roll 2d6 as well? Yes, yeah. sir. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. Wow. This Fey Lord is fucking us hard. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see. Oh, 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 boy. That's your land score right there, <laughs> sir. <laughs> well, uh, it's a seven, right? The the seven goes yes, minus seven. to land. It's it's land. Like, it's I want land to be in the negative. <laughs> we're <laughs> one. No, we, we're one. We're actually uh, just one. Gentlemen, we're not done yet. I need all of you to roll 2d6 for me yet again. Again? Oh, yeah, because we have, we have more stats. We have, like, seven stats, right? Yeah, so, yeah seven stats. Okay. Low. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're so fucked. Oh, my oh, God. This we're Fae Lord fucked. destroyed us. Yeah. Hard. Okay, there's a low there's roll. A low roll. <laughs> all right, so then... Uh, Ardos, I'm waiting on your second roll. I already did. It's 11. Or do you need me to make another one? I know. I rolled okay. seven in the first yeah. one, yeah. All right. Um, so, okay, 12, you did 11. two. Seven, uh, 12, 11, 11, 9, 7. So that's six, right? So we, yeah. I think we need one more, just yes. one more for uh, Wolf. So that, yeah, so Finn, I'd like you to roll another 2d6. <sighs> Does it really Let have to be high? No, Let no, me no. 12. Yes. Okay, there, there we go. go. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right, so give me a moment to put all this in here. Uh, two... Um, oh my god, our land is so fucked. <laughs> yes, I can fuck. Oh, I'm so happy. I want us to be like, well, our, our castle is all the land that we own. We've got like 5 million people like sardined <laughs> into this place. Uh, <laughs> we might so... not have that many people after our rolls. <laughs> yeah, say. that's true. That's true. Oh, god. Luckily, we still keep our power and wealth and our influence. Oh, you know what's really interesting is that oh, that's going to be really interesting because if this if this house has uh if this house was known to get like uber fucked by this Fey Lord and they know about it, mm-hmm. uh, that's going to probably make a lot of people not like Isaac uh, <laughs> because of some Arjo's. for some reasons. Yes, for some yes. reasons. Arjo's, roll three d six for me. We're only it can't get it. Events. Please. Oh, believe me, it can get worse. Okay, okay we got a 10. That, that's you, gotta de- you gotta decline. Oh, another oh, decline? This is the first part of our history, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, what happens here? How did you decline? I think it's, I think it's the, just the a lingering. continuation. 
effect. Yeah, the lingering madness. effect. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think so, I think okay, we got fucked over by the Faylords. Faylord and then afterwards we got fucked over by other houses who saw us like yeah, as we were weak. sort of think we're weak. The, okay. Like burnt burnt bridges because of yeah. uh, of yeah, the okay. Faylord disaster. Okay. Um in that case I would like each of you to roll one D six for me, please. Okay. Yeah, 1d6? 1d6. 1d6, sir. A d6. Roll a d6. Oh, low, 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 low. Okay, hang on. Hang on, so five. It's a four. Eight. Uh, that puts your land At this point, eight. our land is just one. I, yeah, I, I don't our land is fucked. Else. They're like, we probably right, have only uh, one uh, land right now. Alright, so... Uh, Alright, right, Finn, I'd like you to roll a d6. Oh, I already, your I already roll. Uh, a second one, another, another one. Oh, another, another one? one? Come on. Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, of course. It's a six. There we go. Yeah, we're there so we fun. go. Uh, Isaac, I would like you to roll 3d6 now for your next event. Okay, next event. Okay, decline burn bridge from the favorite disasters. Eight. Let's roll another 3d6 coming right up. That's a solid eight. You almost that's predicted eight. the future. That's eight. Um, boy, that's another scandal for you. What Ooh. happened? Oh, oh another, God. another scandal. Um, I like the idea of this Faylord, like, mm -hmm. of being a constant issue. Um, you know what would have been kind of interesting if, um, okay, this is just a thought. It would be kind of interesting if there was, like, an attempt to, like, make a, like, a diplomatic, um, arrangement with this, with this fey mm -hmm. people that fucked our house, mm -hmm. that had a lot of people go, well, we can't, we can't, we can't, you know, mm -hmm. we can't, like, reason with these people. They're the reason that we lost all this influence. Mm -hmm. And maybe, like, there was, like, some inter, like, inter-family politics that mm -hmm. caused, like, a stir, where some people were like, no, we need to, we need to try and get on the phase good side so to try and, yeah, he, they like, to try and, like, you know, so yeah. that they don't do this again. <laughs> and then some people, like, took offense to that. Like, that would be kind of interesting. I, don't oh, know. Yeah. I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, what you think? So, like, I think, like, maybe we went to the failure and just, like, what will it take for you to stop screwing with us, right? Mm -hmm. And then what would be cool if the failure is just, like, huh, what if, like, maybe there's, like, a marriage that was supposed to happen within our family. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then the failure marked like the wife or something and just mm. like she will be like like you marry like essentially you're marrying me like marrying the fae if that makes oh, sense okay mm. now like, we have fae in our bloodline if that makes sense and that people yeah. are just like yo what the fuck are you yeah. doing <laughs> yeah so that, that sounds right. interesting i would like that. i like that yeah, i like, I like that. that it it's unpredictable okay. uh, yeah so this like this yeah this is, really is taking cool. place yeah by the way this is taking place over the course of centuries yes just so you know I know. And, um, so I need each of you to roll me a d6. <laughs> Come on! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why? Two d6? I one, hate one, d6. Just one, one, one. one. Alright, let's get three sixes. Let's go. D d don't say oh that! My oh my god! Alright, here, one more. One, two, three. It's oh, right. so close! So close. <laughs> All right, congratulations! You've gotten your land to one. <laughs> Damn it! Yep, that's what I wanted. All right, uh, I am going to need. I'm going to need one final roll from, from Isaac. Three d six. All right, come on, let's come on. Can we get can we get a good thing? We get a. Uh, we got a ten. I'll let you, you roll that again. That's not. Uh, if you want to keep the, it's uh, decline. I don't want another decline. I'll Please, take the reroll. No, yeah. Okay. Oh, Twelve. Uh... All right, that's a sense. Oh, come on. Thank you. Hey, we're going back and we're, going, we're back. going back, boys. Okay. Now hold on. Oh, do you I want got to a try? Idea. Do you want to go for? You want to try for a different? Try for a better one? Or would you? Yeah, like yes, to yes, yes. A... Yes. No, we roll for a better one. No, we're not cowards. We're not cowards. You want to? Sh you okay, But you want to look at the list of things that are bad things. So you want to give up? This you want to give up? This, at this point, we should. We just should just try. We already got two ascents. We should try getting something else. Two okay. declines, two ascents, two okay, scandals. I... Maybe we can get another madness. 
what? All right, you know what? Because you know, because our wonderful Lord Artist is telling me yeah. to do this. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. of course. It's all his uh, fault. If this <laughs> hey, stretching my arms. All right, here we go, boys. <laughs> we'll leave in the heart. Oh, all right, oh, it wow. was. Okay. Okay. Ascent. It was meant to be. All right. It was meant to be. Okay. Maybe okay. I, I just got this perfect idea. Maybe because mm -hmm. of the marriage, there's a lot of sorcerer coming out of this, you know, union. of our fa of yeah, the, of the family. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of mm. lineage, mm. Of fla faith. Maybe, maybe there's yeah, you know, because you're saying that sorcerers are a thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're common. Yeah, yeah. Mm, okay, maybe uh, yeah, Ascent created a uh, a line of uh, sorcerers. Yeah. Well, that's not uh, necessarily like an event that causes you to ascend. Um, well, I'm not even no, that. I'm it, just it saying was more that like, like because there's more magic users, where our powers get better, and yeah, like probably, it's something where it's just yeah. like. Or, like, maybe this is something where we actually have a kind of maybe neutral relationship now with the Fae, the yes. Fae, essentially. I, I, think, I think that's that's also true, because yeah. the Union, uh, the people later on, figures that, oh, this actually benefits the land. Even though the Fae Lord, yeah, did fuck us. But this actually helps you know the the people it was basically we were we were we were enemies before yeah. but now like over the years we have become a decent like yep. uh, like basically allies essentially yep um mm -hmm. that would be kind of interesting yeah I like all right that. well like i said a sense is basically um it's basically a good marriage a great deed or heroism in battle it could be that mm. you produce a powerful sorcerer who was able to help out uh, so army of sorcerers go. okay okay yes <laughs> um yeah okay i got i i like that okay so we produced a uh produced um uh produced a uh powerful uh sorcerer um with uh fey lineage mm -hmm. sure um that um maybe maybe we can tie it a little bit more with uh that uh, d the draconic stuff to the east that helped um yeah, um, from the forts. Yeah. Help defend a fort at a pivotal time. I like that. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, that seems pretty decent. Yeah. All righty, and that is your house's history. Oh do man, we, roll we really for got the bump. Yes, we okay. need to roll to bump it up. Come I need on, all roll of these things for me. Let's get some good rolls. Come on. Okay. Oh, it's average. Uh, okay. Average, but it's fine. Our lands oh. is one. That is the Let's best. Let's just keep it that way. <laughs> uh, Let's the... roll 1d6, please. An extra d6, please. Come on. Oh. oh okay. All right. Make uh, the land everything two. finally set up? <laughs> Your land is four okay. right now. Woo! Okay, we're not one. We're not one. All right, so what is this? This is, uh, I'll describe it for you. At uh, 22... Your land is still defendable. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's still relatively defendable. At uh, twenty-eight, your your uh, rank is a uh, duke or duchess. Ooh. Okay. Is that even uh, no, it's lower. Yeah, we were high, we were much higher before. Yeah, yeah you were clobbered. <laughs> Horrible bad rolls. <laughs> but Duke sounds yes, you were... better. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were clobbered though. You were absolutely clobbered. Uh, with a land of four, you don't. You have. You control a very small area. You probably only have a castle. <laughs> yeah, you have a castle, and then like whatever is immediately around it. That's right. fair. Um, that's fine. You can expand. No, pr no problem. Yeah. Absolutely, you can. A law of twenty-five. That's fair. Again, typical level of law in a mortar. Crime is common, but it's not out of control. Population of twenty-six. Typical average. population. Yeah, average population. Power of thirty-three. You have a trained force of soldiers. Pos again, possibly including cavalry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, good. You may also have service of another house sworn to you. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Wealth of 37, you're still prosperous. You have the money to live in accordance with your station. Now, here's the uh, interesting part. We are going to define your holdings. Basically, this defines like what, uh, what makes up your house. Uh, what makes up each score, as it were. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so for defense, it's going to be a castle 
or in your case, it's either a keep or two towers. A keep. Sounds nice. All right, yeah. so you have a keep. Yeah. It, a keep is basically a small fortified building that is surrounded by a wall. Okay. Possibly a moat. I like moats. Um, moats are dope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Have you ever uh, seen the? Have any of you uh, ever seen the movie Ironclad? Uh, I think, no, I think I saw I've heard of it. I don't think I've yeah. seen it. But not, no, not I, the full thing. I've read the books, though. Yeah. Uh, no, the movie is uh, basically about a few men fighting Rochester, defending Rochester Castle against kings against the evil King John. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> But, the uh, Lackland, right? The 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 guy, I believe. Yeah. Well, whatever. okay, I can I can guy. I can see what kind of so we've got like a keep. I can see yeah, I can see yeah, yeah I can see from the image. Castle, yeah. yeah, look of Rochester Castle. Mm -hmm. That's okay. basically what your castle looks like. Okay. All right. Um. Cool. I yeah, I actually like the look of that. That's pretty dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, influence is based on your social power and your presence in your region and all of Immortal. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> the primary investment, the way you invest is typically for uh, for heirs. If you, for example, you want to play like a child of the house, a, a child of the, royal, of the noble family, you would use investment to be to make it. You'd invest your influence to become that. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, since Artos wants to be the lord, mm -hmm. uh, he's going to technically count as the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so this is our castle. I'm gonna post yep, it. In... Oh shit! It's way too big. All right. Uh, I'm gonna post yeah. it in the link so people yeah. can see it. Yes, the building to the right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so if you take a look back at your stats, you'll notice that underneath I'm putting where I'm defining your holdings, I'm putting a number in parentheses. Mm -hmm. That's um, what you. Yeah, that's your investment. So for example, so like I so said, for example, your keep is uh, is makes up twenty points of your defense. If for whatever reason you lose your holding. You lose the points that you invested in it. Oh, so if Artus okay. is killed, your influence immediately declines by twenty. Oh, I should not die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you no. need to stay alive yeah. more than anything. I think honestly, if you die in this campaign, yeah, we've will, got yeah. so many bigger problems yeah. than just our influence. <laughs> All right. Um... We need a necromancer. Someone can raise up. Revive me. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally uh, not. I'm gonna you know, change my character. I, I'm a legitimately. <laughs> I I am gonna have to learn some sort of revivify or something because yeah. like I am the only mm. healer in this group, yeah, so yes. I have to keep you all alive. We are our only full caster. Yeah, mix up his lands. Um, you can choose to invest your land points into, well, defining what your lands look like, or you can choose not to. In which case, you basically control your keep and its immediate environs. Yeah, uh, I think we should define it, I think. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree with Justin, yeah. You're going to bank it? Yeah. yeah okay. Bank it. Okay. Um, law and population are a little different. Um, what's going to happen is the Lord has to roll a d20 at the start of every month to determine how well he governs his land. Mm. Uh, oh, so we might just have like a period where it's just like, oh, we fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And so I'm going to put that modifier that law gives into. Um, oh, the stat. Okay. Uh, yeah, is there that, just, uh, because I don't know the system? Is there any way yeah. uh, we can do to to help Artos? You know, with well, here's role. um, here's a quick question about the law. Um, yeah. I'm assuming that does that like, remember when we were rolling for all these events, right? Does that sort right. of secret service that we established in our house's history does that still exist? Probably, Probably not. Probably okay. not after the Fey incident. 
You know what? Oh yeah. That's <laughs> well, that's the Fae fucked everything Maybe up. Maybe one of my first goals is to revive it, right? Yeah. So, yeah. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. yeah. All right. Um. So yeah, your law is fairly low, so that gives you a minus two penalty on your on your check, but your population gives you a plus one, which is uh, nice. because we have we are, we're like on the lower end of like numbers. If that yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Next is uh, power, which is a little bit difficult which is a little more difficult to define. Um, so for power, if you would like to have, do you, well, first let's start with this. You want to have a noble house that is sworn to you or not? Because that's, I don't going, know. To I don't think, that's going to I don't eat think, a colossal chunk out of your power. I don't think make makes sense for a noble lord to swear to us yeah, after the whole thing. Right. You know what? Yeah, I honestly, think we're, we're training probably, all the I, armies ourselves. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, that, that, that fits because we're a rising, you know, group. So. Rising power, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you're rising up, back up again. Mm -hmm. That's what you're yeah. doing. Yep. Oh, why am I doing that? Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Yeah. Now I am going to next. Okay, so no, uh, no noble has a swarm to you. You're rising back up. Um, uh, I didn't want to push the topic. In Well, guys, right. like I said, at least we're, our power and wealth is good. So, yes. if well, this, well, that's the thing. If this our power and wealth thing never are... works, we can always take all the money. He's like, troops, just And run. Just, just, just go rogue, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, that, honestly, that so clearly it's like we have, we have money to possibly invest in other yeah. aspects of our house. <laughs> And we have the power to basically we have an army or or, or at least a military, a military force. So that gives us a little bit of leeway yeah. when it comes to um, you know maybe diplomacy. our lack, you know our diplomacy or maybe just the lack of land that we own. Yeah. You know. Yes. Yes. Um, all right. Hang on. All right. Um, sorry, I'm like I said, I'm checking something here. All good. Also, Isaac does play play music in the keep every once in a while. He does have oh. the entertainer background. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay, I'm going to... That's a strip one. Okay. Ah, you bastards! You stinking bastards! Oh no. No, it's, it's, it's roll 20. It's not ideal. It's roll 20 being uh, cooperative, <laughs> as it usually likes to be. Yes. Yeah, let's try this. Let me try it. Let's try it again. Let's see what it does. Okay, good. Uh, now let's see if it's, if it's gonna play nice. Or if it will. Luckily, I've never had any. Are issues. you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you for fucking real? Oh god. The age you have found is not as just one of my refresh that. I think it's I less roll twenty problem, it's more internet problem. You know, it's roll twenty. Yeah. It's absolutely roll twenty. I've had so some problems with roll twenty with okay. pages and stuff like that. It's, I'm trying to post something and do a forum post, but it is absolutely refusing to cooperate with me. Are you, are you doing it from the main page, essentially? You're just trying to post a forum post? Now, yeah. when you when you post... Wait, when you post a forum post, you actually have to go all the way down and just yeah. write write it there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because... Yeah, yeah, figured, you figured it out? Yes. Okay. Um, all right, I figured out what the problem is. There we go. Yeah. There we go. All right, um... All right, so I would like you all to, uh, you don't have to back out, pop open the forum, the campaign page, 
in new in the new tab, oh, there's and a soldiers, you should see. Right? Yes, open it up. You should see three tables in there. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um, the first uh, table is tells you what level your soldiers are trained at, and the next two tables tell you what kind of soldiers you can recruit. Oh, okay. I see. Right. So, Calvary. Yeah, 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 we're just going all cavalry. Now hold on, before you decide to go all cavalry, uh, probably. Before you decide to go, before you decide to go all cavalry, I'd like to remind you. Um, I'd like to remind you that knights are a thing. Mm. They are an elite cavalry, which are significantly more powerful. Mm-hmm. Knights, it is. <laughs> knights but it they is. cost you in power. Yeah. Again, they cost you in terms of power. So basically, right. what happens is. When you select your units, you need to pick a training level, and then you need to pick the unit, and then you combine the power costs of the two together to get the total cost. So, for example, if you wanted trained archers, it's trained is a cost of three. Archers are a cost of three, so that's a total oh, power of six. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, knights are. So basically, a quick rundown of what each of the units are. Archers are what it says on the can. They use uh, arrow. They use crossbows. They use longbows. Some of them might even use slings. Mm-hmm. But they basically attack you from range. Cavalry are horse-mounted soldiers. Criminals are exactly what they sound like. World check negative four. <laughs> yeah, they're not. They are not reliable in a fight. But if you need numbers to pad out your legions, then criminals are what you send out. You can always empty your dungeons. Right. Um, knights are elite cavalry. They are they are very difficult to break in a fight, but they will cost you. Right. Um, they can also only be veterans or elite. Mm. Mm. So that's um, that's a that's a big investment essentially. Yes, yeah. but they are typically worth it. Worth, but worth yeah, it. Worth. Yeah. Engineers are base. Uh, they're your siege engineers. These are the guys who undermine enemy castles, operate catapults, and the like. Um. Garrison is basically the army that you use, the soldiers that patrol your lands, they enforce your law, they guard your castle. Um, they tend to do very well when they're fighting to defend the home, their home. They don't do, they make, mm-hmm. they do make notoriously poor conquering armies. Yeah. Right. They are like um, city warriors. Giants. Yes. Mm-hmm. Basically. Mm-hmm. Giants are, uh, are one of the strongest units you can buy, if not the strongest. They can absolutely rip apart anything that comes close, but they can also hit enemies from a distance. Are but we... you need a, they, they have a power cost of twelve, and they have to be veteran or elite. Are we so that's actually huge talking about actual actually creatures? Like, actual, like giants. 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 actual giant, right? Okay. Yes, giants. Okay. that's I'm, pretty I'm, rad. I'm gonna like create like a like a I don't know, like a vanilla giant template, not like a storm giant or anything. Mm-hmm. Right. But yeah, giant tribes are very difficult to recruit. Mm-hmm. They are very difficult to keep happy. Yeah. And that is why the power cost is so high. But mm-hmm. they are easily some of the strongest units in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, next up is your Dai Li, the gorillas. Mm-hmm. They do not do good up close or in a protracted combat, but they are very handy to have. Yeah. Especially. They're very the handy to have. Mm. Uh, infantry, well, not just in the jungles, in like the hills, yeah. in the forests, and basically so on. anywhere. Not not up front, but you know. Well, gorillas are they're good in certain yeah, like certain environments, environments, essentially. Yeah. 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 Since we're three tall planes, right? So I don't think we'll need to invest in gorillas. No, yeah, no, you don't really have that big of a. You don't really have anything. You don't have much of anything, so you don't really need them. True. Um, <laughs> yeah. true. So far, next, <laughs> next up is infantry. That's there's no, they they're the vanilla soldiers. They are the backbone of your army. Mm-hmm. Um, next up is mercenaries. They are extremely cheap in terms of power. Like uh, they only merc- a pure mercenary only costs one power. So like trained mercenaries only four power, but it will cost you in wealth equal to the discipline power cost. So, for example, a trained mercenary unit costs you three wealth. Okay. Is it gonna cost every time we use them, or just once? Um, 
it's it's like a continuous investment. Right. Again, it's like um, it's like it's like your it's it's like uh, it's like Artos. Um, it's if you lose your trained mercenaries, you lose four power and three wealth. Ah. Oh. Right, it's an investment. Right now, we're we're in the investment stage. Yeah, right we're now basically you're like, okay. Uh, I actually need to edit ogres. That should say uh, veteran or elite only. Okay. Um, okay. But yeah, ogres again. It's like giants. They're hulking heavy infantry. We they they tire ogres. I don't know. They hit like a truck. Um, they do hit like a truck. The next is peasant levies. Basically, you round up your peasants from your land and you force them to fight for you. Yeah. Right. Um, they do. Peasants cost almost nothing in terms of power, but every peasant unit you recruit reduces your population by two. Yeah. Kind Makes of sense. Bigger. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. Hang on. Just ask the. Okay, um, personal guard is uh, elite infantry. They are tough, they are loyal, and they typically are assembled to protect a commander. They are very difficult to break in a fight. I don't think we need them just yet, because we're really no. small. <laughs> um, raiders, they are meant to move fast, hit hard, and plunder your enemy's strongholds. They do not do well in protracted fights. Right. Yeah. Makes sense. Yep. Um, sailors, you need to have warships and so that they can use. We uh, these are soldiers who... Yeah, they're simply soldiers who specialize fighting at sea. Yep. Um, scouts are a light-ranged unit. It's very simple, very... Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very light. Like I said, very light. They have ranged attacks, very short range. They're mostly meant to like go out and find out what's going on and maybe harass the enemy. Right. And then finally, you have warships, and you don't have any coastal or rivers, coastal yeah. rivers near your land. So, so we, really can, we can scratch that off. We the can list scratch of warship and sailors. Yes, we sailors. Probably yeah. Don't need yes. Them. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Probably don't need them. We probably would have knights or cavalry, uh, either one. You know. And well, here's yeah, here's my here's my qu here's my question. So, mm -hmm. what is so here's here's my question. We're clearly spending points to to invest in, right? Right. Yep. So, how many points do we have? Let's figure that out first. Thirty-three. You have thirty-three. Yep. We have thirty-three points total. So, let's say hypothetically, we were like we wanted to get some trained knights, right? You can't get trained knights. Yeah. Elite sorry, knights. Vet, veteran, uh, sorry, yeah. veteran or elite. Let's say we were veteran knights, yeah. right? Yes. Okay, so that's five plus the knights is seven. seven. Well, that's twelve. That's twelve. So we've got thirty-three uh, minus twelve. That gives just, us twenty-one points left. Yeah, just so you know, just mm, okay. just so you know, um, each unit, if it's not uh, cavalry, each unit consists of either a hundred infantry, a hundred soldiers, uh, twenty cavalry, giants, or ogres, or five ships, depending mm. on what you're recruiting. Okay. So, knights. Do we want them to be 20. veteran or elite? Elite, no question about it. I'm so, I'm so biased. I'm so sorry, but like... <laughs> I mean, if we want it, I, I'm perfectly fine with that. We could just have a really solid, like, smaller, you know, trained individuals. Yeah, that, yeah, um, these are, yeah so basically, like, each training level is, like, like you can see, it tells you, like, what they are, what they, yeah. how tough they are in a fight. Can we, um, green... can we have archers? Uh, I would say yeah, for sure. That could I think we can get, we we should have enough points to at least get one other thing, I would yeah, assume. Sure. Even, so like, uh, let's say hypothetically, we're like, okay, we want to do what Justin's saying. We're, we're making elite bad boys super, yeah. super elite knights. So that's like 14 points total, correct? Yeah. Okay. Right. We still so, have uh, like uh, nineteen points 19 left. Points left. So yes. Uh, just probably... um. Just so you. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. Just, sorry, just uh, so you know. Um. The various training levels. So it also describe. It's not just like how well trained they are, but also the quality of soldiers that you have. So right. Green soldiers are basically just old veterans past their prime, first phase farm boys. Yeah. Or raw recruits. Understandable. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. trained units are people who spend some time with a castle master at arms. They have sufficient instruction to fight competently on the battlefield. But so they've household never soldier. been actually into a war or something. Yeah, probably not really. They may have had one, they may have one or two fights. On. They may have had one skirmish, but yeah, they're yeah. not like they're not like vets. Essentially. Yeah, not, they have one or two fights under their belt. Right. Um, so like so like a lot of raiders in the mountains, for example, tend to be trained. Mm-hmm. Um, veteran units are battle scarred, competent, extremely reliable, and they are valued members of any fighting force. If so, for example, most soldiers that fight the dragons out in the seven forts are veterans. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, elite units, which you want, are rare, expensive, and they typically have an identity that causes terror in anyone who has to fight them on the battlefield. Yeah. Ooh. And it's so cool. I like that. Yeah, I, I like that. that. I like, that. I like having seven, uh, uh, reputation. Yeah, say, yeah, in the seven forts, for example, the dragonborn have one. They have a. Uh, they have a unit, uh, a unit of infantry called the black. That the, nobody knows what they call themselves. The immortans just call them black serpents because their heraldry is a black serpent on scarlet, and they are some of the most. They are some of the most fearsome soldiers that Immortans have ever faced. Mm, okay. So. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you? Uh, uh ju- like Justin said, like our Lord <laughs> ordered, we have to have <laughs> uh, elite knights. Elite knights. So yes. Uh, yes. Not negotiable. Uh, and <laughs> I personally would like to have Great at archer. least veteran archers. And and, okay, and I think that makes. Fun. Yeah, and probably engineers because if you want to eventually go attack other houses, we will encounter keeps uh, and such. And we I think we can invest. In the, we yeah. can get engineers later on. I feel like we just need to consolidate like the main force. If and that makes sense, like, yeah, let's Harrison? consolidate the main force. Yeah, well, let's see. Yeah, I I'm a hundred percent thinking that we should have a garrison of yeah, some sort. We, we need to keep yeah. the city safe. Well, so yeah, let's keep your castle safe. Yeah, our castle. Yeah. So okay, you have, so, you have eleven points garrison. to spend. You have eleven points to spend. Okay. Um, I think honestly, at the bare minimum, we should have at least trained garrison. So that would yeah, be eight. That would be eight. Oh, six actually. Three plus three, it's six. Oh, six. Yeah, three yeah. plus three is six. Okay, so we yeah. have okay, so trained garrison. Yeah. All right. So we have so five points left. You have five points. You don't have to spend them if you don't want to. You can keep them. You, you want green infantry? <laughs> Um, you, you want, you want to, uh, let me check the cost, because you know what I also think would be useful for us, uh, honestly? Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh, so I we have five, scouts? we have five points. Yeah, I was gonna say, if we go train scouts, that's the five points. Yeah, 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 I yeah. think we can go for it. Probably be good. I because, think, because I, mm-hmm. sorry, uh, without composition, I feel like what would be great is, like, if we stay mobile, right? Yeah. Like, because mm-hmm. we have elite knights. Calvary. We'll have the scouts sort of like tell us like where they are. We hit fast. We run. It's yeah. like I also think the the trained scouts strategy. I think would be yeah. good enough because in the sense the trained scouts we can send in and say all right we have a really good force of cavalry. The scouts go in, look at our opposing force, and say this is where we need to do. This is where we need to maneuver mm-hmm. to get the most mileage out of yeah. our okay. out of our yeah. cavalry. Uh, I just want right, have so... one question for our DM. What's the morale bonus? Because I see that scouts have only minus three. I have no clue. Okay. Um, let's, give me a moment. I need to pull that up. Um, yeah. Basically, morale, they need to... It's uh, a unit's version of death saving throws. Mm, okay. um, when a unit is reduced to zero, to mm. battle rating is their hit points, basically. When a re- unit is reduced to a BR of zero, they... Don't die. They are not affected. They're not being ineffective. They just start making their um, morale checks to see if they yeah, basically they start... like war. No, war no, him, no. Right? sort of like that. No, not even, not even. No, no, no. What happens is when they're reduced to zero, when they're reduced to a battle rating of zero, they take they have disadvantage on all attacks. They become disorganized and they start making morale checks. Mm-hmm. If they are able to make a morale check, if they're able to succeed on their morale check. Um, 
they are able to pull themselves back together and they get a BR. Of, they go up to they get, their battle rating goes up to one again. Right. If they okay. fail their morale check, then they're considered to be routing. In which case, they will ignore all your orders and immediately try to run from the battlefield yeah, if possible. Yeah. Kind of figures. If, Makes sense. If they are hit while routing, then the unit is destroyed completely. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. So I mean, now, hmm. one more thing that you do need to know. Dragons are able to force morale checks hmm. without having to injure your units. Yeah. That's and dragons are typically... About. Yeah, dragons are powerful enough that you're going that they can't they are encountered solo fighting armies. Thankfully, though, they well they have been sighted from the seven forts, they have not really made any moves. Mm-hmm. They've kind of just they're seen like out in the distance just hovering, just watching. Or right, okay. we can try to do this the adventuring style. <laughs> just kill the dragons by ourselves. <laughs> Good yeah. luck. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck. Probably. Gonna I mean, honestly, I think, I think, basically, um, us having our because realistically, our trained scouts, we're not if we're using them in a actual fight. Oh, fight. Probably. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not. not, using them right. we're, not <laughs> we're supposed realistically, we're going to be using our veteran archers and our elite knights for the fights, mm-hmm. and our trained scouts are going to be there to essentially yeah. give us yeah. intel. And it may be if we're in a really big jam where we need some people to basically pick up swords and defend, then we could use them. Yeah, but they're... Hands, scouts can uh, hide in the woods and then ambush somebody. Yeah. Exactly. Um, that's yeah. why I was kind of like, that's why I kind of wanted them, because I was like, we need like we somebody need that can be a little bit more of a utility. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. I think it's good because they're practically just our infantry if we ever get invaded, right? Mm-hmm. So we have yeah. a person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Now, yeah. Now, uh, let's move on to wealth. Let's see why people would want to invade you in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Wealth basically defines what um, defines what your wealth is in. Um, it's not necess- not necessarily like farms, but what is in your family particularly uh let's see what we have here um, you are not going to be getting a mine you don't have any hills or mountains nope. uh-huh. uh you have no you have no coastline so you have no ports you yeah, have no towns we get our wealth from well that's that what we're trying, to, that, that's what that's we're trying to figure it out <laughs> um, we have no um, minerals we have no yeah. Yeah, you have. It's basically. Port access. Yeah, that's a good question, though. Maybe yeah, we got the wealth just from battles. Like we, it's like just mm. treasure from battles. I was also gonna say what would be interesting is that maybe this is just more because I like I like kind of going back to our history thing. Yes, fake. Maybe 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 that Fae Lord, like maybe during the time when whatever would, um, <laughs> oh yeah, he, maybe sense. maybe either not maybe not granted us wealth, but maybe he granted us stuff that was exclusive to the Fae Wild, like maybe like fruits we or something like that. Like a trade. resource that is like rare yeah. that we have a commodity for, yeah. and we've been able to basically keep growing. Yeah, that would be well, cool. I think that's I'll tell you. Or if you want to trade, with, so hang on. So, so what's it going to be? Is it going to be uh, something a, a rare commodity? So it's a rare commodity you're able to get from the Fey Wild. That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's it. That's All it. right. I'll tell you what. Okay. Uh, for ten, for an investment of ten wealth. You will get a portal of some kind, a fake portal, a fake yes. crossing. Yes, I like that. That's probably why we can move. Our troops can move so fast because they can access the portals. All right. Yeah. So you've got the webway from forty k. Nice. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, you're still gonna, it. you're still gonna have to go fight your way through the fake wild. Not everything in the fake wild is happy and friendly. Uh, it's yes. fine. Oh, it's fine. Our troops that actually, I really like that yeah. for uh, Me too. Uh, for other reasons. Yeah, I, I like know, the thing. I know. We know. Is we chocolate the portal, and they have to come back in five days. <laughs> <laughs> That's Probably. true. Yeah. Yeah. I will, be def- I will be. De- here's the thing, though. I will be defining when the portal opens. It's not a consistent thing. It's like once uh, okay. Month. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Okay, that's fair. All right. Uh, so something you need to know about this. Uh, your uh, about your your fate portal. 
It does give you a plus three on your house fortunes roll. Sweet. Oh, sweet. Because, you know, you're getting rare stuff. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Um, so... House if you, Nice. You want to continue spending stuff, or would you like to call oh, it What there? can we buy? <laughs> I'm checking. You don't... Not much. Um, <laughs> if you want, you can have a master artisan. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. I would is love a, a good black uh, ma magic crafter, probably yeah, I, artificer. Like, <laughs> is there an equivalent for like having like good horses? Like I assume like we breed horses because we have cavalry, right? On what or, land? Yeah, oh, that's we, we uh, have no. Yeah. Land. <laughs> <laughs> that's you. That's on what land? Probably buy horses. We or, probably bought wait, wait, horses with wait, wait, wait a minute. We probably have agreement with the Fae that we breed horses in their land. Magical horses. Magic horses. <laughs> Magical horses. Nah. That's probably why. <laughs> or... Or... Yeah, they have, a, they have a master artisan. Like, that's great. Thing or, a master artisan is not going to give you... Um, it's not going to give you magic weapons. Mm. Uh, but with your vast wealth... Your best wealth. You can, I, uh, you can, uh, in the, you know what? Yeah, why not? With your vast wealth, you will be able to upgrade your weapons to adamantine weapons and <gasps> armor. Thank you. <laughs> yes. That's pretty good. Good to go ahead. That's, yeah, no, that's, Yo. that's it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I like that quite a lot. <laughs> that's amazing. So our troops are but, small, I, but we are strong. Like, no, night like that's wearing adamantine sheesh yeah sheesh well, <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm looking. that's pretty good that's pretty good yes uh i'm looking i don't think you can really get anything else unless you want to waste more money on a well, artisan well honestly I, I would love an yeah artisan, let's actually. let's uh, on it uh, well we have a house artisan that was what the adamantian weapons and armor for oh okay uh that's what we spent it so on it honestly i think we should probably just hold on okay. to oh, our yeah. wealth yeah. because we yeah. might we yeah. might yeah. find yeah. we might find a later investment that we need to spend points like yeah, yeah. Mm, right. yeah you can yeah. Have, you can have that wealth as a, as a, as a reward for tournaments also use it as a way to rub elbows with the richest and the finest and and if ever, um, like, let's say we get to the point where we actually need troops, you can just hire mercenaries, so... That's true. We still need help for that, yep. so. You still need power, though, so you're gonna have to either disband something or get it killed in a fight. Or raise power. Yeah, or we'll find a way. Power, we'll find a way. Yeah. Yeah. We'll find a way. Okay, um, next up... Okay, well, this is your house uh, to find. Next up, uh, you need to come up with a name for your house. Mm. Uh, Justin, this the is family. Part. Yeah. Um, I think what would be interesting is that maybe there's like an old name that yeah. would like pay homage to like the, the old no, no, like family? to the old like, human, the old family, and then there's like, a clear line when the Faelord entered their family. We had a new house name. That, that, yeah, that's I was gonna. I, I was. I was thinking yeah. that too. That there's Same. a there's a tiny twinge of a Fey yeah. linked to our house name. Mm -hmm. Um, if there's going to be a tiny twinge to your house, then that will be your that will be reflected in your heraldry, which we'll do later. Yeah. Oh, okay. But the name will yeah. change uh, as well. So no, not necessarily. No, not no, no. Necessarily. What we're trying to say that it changes our the fa the house name because of the events that happened. I know, I know, but houses families don't change their names because of the events. The name tells you like the circumstances that you were founded. It's your origin. Okay, then that's. I guess we have to just have an old yeah, yeah. name. Your heraldry, though, that okay. the, the heraldry of all is based on the deeds of your house. Gotcha. Okay. Maybe um, the, uh, maybe the house name doesn't change. Maybe uh, the Fey incident reflects on the signet, or you know. Yeah, I because I was I'm right. already I'm already thinking that yeah, I'm, cause I'm right. once I have a better idea what our house is, I'm totally gonna just go and make something for yeah. you guys, okay. illustrator. <laughs> Yeah. So in uh, our, our his name is um uh, his last name is High Wilson, which is like son of Highwell. Like mm -hmm. that's sort of the name. Okay, so how's High Wilson? Could, yeah, we could go I with think that. House Highwell could just be enough. Like High Wilson is like yeah, the son of Highwell. Highwell like, probably. Yeah, okay. House Highwell sounds nice. House and like it is. Okay. Alright. It's eminent, so 
eminent in many ways. Mm-hmm. Back then, we were very eminent. Now, very eminent, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm down right. with that. Yeah. Right. Um, now, next, uh, all right. Okay, so how's how it is? Next is your house's motto. What are the words that your house lives by? Oh, I mm. can I have a suggestion? Yes, what's go your, ahead. What's your suggestion? Uh, you guys, <laughs> uh, this. This is my bonds, but I, I just want to make not friends. strongest family. <laughs> <laughs> not the strongest. Family. Yes, I love this. Just this is so good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's just um, use this. So you're gonna have that's it has to be yeah. shorter. Make it shorter and punchier. Oh. Mm. <laughs> strong. Family stronger. Uh. <laughs> Shorter and punchier. See, now all I'm thinking about is Fast and the Furious. <laughs> family. That's, oh, that's wait, I'm point. also thinking. Oh. Yeah. Family. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Just this. Something short and sweet. Just mm. family. <laughs> No, no, we can't just say that. I refuse. That cannot be. I refuse this timeline. <laughs> what? What else? I, I'm looking up memes right now. <laughs> just, no, uh, just something funny. with family. Well, oh we can God. always uh, steal. Uh, we can always steal from. Ooh, that's pretty ooh, good. That, that's Blood good. is stronger than steel. That's one I was going to say. We can steal from Game of Thrones. Yeah. I like that one actually. Blood is greater than steel. Yeah, Blood I like that a lot. Is stronger than steel. Yeah. yeah. Okay, stronger. Blood is stronger Blood than steel. Is okay, steel. Nice. no, no, no. Blood is or blood is steel. Whatever. Yeah. No. Well, blood is stronger than steel. I um is pretty good. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, basically, it doesn't matter what happened. Basically, like, through all the stuff that you went through, you family held together. Yeah. Family! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> all right. Yes. All right, so that is your... Uh, that is your motto. Now, let's go and take a look at... I'm satisfied. Your... <laughs> mm. I just want to make this. This is amazing. <sighs> so, eight, nine, ten. Artos is riding the horse, and then he looks towards his buddy and the other horse. Yeah. <laughs> Family. <laughs> Family. Right. Family. And then his, his friend he rides. rides into the sunset. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's start with your shield. With our coat of arms. Our troops arms. better be jumping through mountains. <laughs> With horses, <laughs> with, with <laughs> grappling hooks. <laughs> yeah. All right, gentlemen. All like right. I said, we now need to need to do we need to do your uh, coat of arms. It is the symbol of your family, your lineage, your heritage, and your place in Immorta. Right. Every noble house and every knight has a coat of arms. Uh, the colors, the patterns, the symbols may recur great moments in your family's past. They could represent aspects of your holdings. They can speak of the virtues or vices attributed to your family. I often incorporate a, possibly even incorporate a historical elements. Um, it is basically symbolism, and I'm not really going to go into the whole... Uh, yeah, uh, the symbology. Don't, don't bother. Uh, it's, yeah. it's complicated. Yeah. Yeah. It's complicated. Yeah. I know. I know. Right. Uh, well, I would well, say, um, first, f- first thing, there must be a fey wing. There's got to be some yeah. fey symbol. symbol. Right. I'm so, thinking right. a wing. So first, a small so first maybe. Well, before we go into like the symbols, so here's, let's take a look. What colors are there? There's uh, two kinds of colors that appear that called tinctures and metals uh, metals are basically white and yellow tinctures are black blue purple red green orange and maroon hmm. i'm thinking green i want mm-hmm. silver i'm thinking green though. i mean so you, can do green, you can do green and silver because silver is a metal yeah. and then green is a tincture so you pick yes. one of each if one tincture green, so. one metal so green and silver we could do that yeah, yeah i like yeah. green and silver Green typically symbolizes hope, joy, devout, and loyal and loyalty. Mm. Um, about right. Yeah. Yep. Silver represents peace or sincerity. We are strong enough to okay. make peace with whoever dare cross us. So. <laughs> mm. All right. Um, 
So now we're going to see uh, what partitions are on your field. Uh, what partitions? Like basically, like do you have uh, slashes? Do you have stripes on your sh on your coat of arms? Chevrons? Huh. Like whatever. Um, roll one to twenty, Artos. Okay. Uh, slash so roll one d twenty. Two. Two. <laughs> and so, straps. Hang on, no, I'm I'm taking a look at this. I'm taking a look. Hang on. Okay. Uh, it's divided by the line from district chief to Mr. Base. Distant. All right. So you have. I'm going to move you all to a new page here. Okay. So straight, like I'm going to do like a very crude hand drawing here. Don't worry. Three hands, black. All right. So this is basically what your shield looks like. We Very can't crude. see it. We can't see it. Yeah. We're not All right. on the page. <laughs> oh, right. You're not on the page. Wrong page. Sorry. That's All okay. Right. So, see the diamond? That's your shield. Okay. Diamond. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and this is the, and this is the stripe that goes across it. Okay. Um, hey, two stripes. Okay. Yeah, it's butter beans by per band. Um, it is very specifically from the top left to the bottom right. Um. Okay. So how do you want to color that in, though? Do you want a white stripe on green or a green stripe on white? Hmm. I think white and then green. Like, that would pop, mm -hmm. you know? Like, so one, 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 one green stripe, essentially? Yeah. Yeah. So okay, sure. Alright, right, so it's going to basically look like that. Yep. Okay. Alright, so next... Um, hmm. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Um. Tell you what, uh, Finn, roll three d six, please. Okay. I can't decide. Uh, I would. I would suggest that uh, do another stripe to the other side. But yeah, let's roll first. Yeah, roll first. Let's just. We're gonna see what. Nine. All right. Ordinary is okay. All right. Um. Sorry. One sec. I need to count this all up. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. A uh, roll. Uh, Artus, roll one. Sorry, not Artus. Isaac, roll one d twelve, please. One d twelve. You got it. Yes. That's a solid eight. It's, that's a solid eight. Um. Okay. Uh, roll a second d12, please. 11. 8 or 11. Alright. Um, hmm. Trying to figure out how to make this work. Uh, um, um, Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how do I just how do I describe this. What is it? Or uh, what what does it say? Because I can help. I'm looking. Um. Uh, well, I'm trying to figure out. I'm not only trying to figure out that, but also how it looks on your uh, on your thing. Because you may need to roll a third color for this. The uh, first result for the for an eight would be checky. It's called uh, basically the entire field is a checkerboard is a checkerboard pattern. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this, like, wait, you mean behind the the shield or yeah, behind the stripe? Basically, behind the stripe is a checkerboard pattern. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Or uh, what's so what's eleven then? Eleven is uh, it's what's called a pile inverted. Basically, uh, it's a basically it's like an arrow pointing at a triangle at the top of your shield. Oh, so just a triangle yeah. at the top of her shield. So yeah, basically, oh. it would. Yeah, basically, I uh, will. Well, uh, kind of like that. No, I'll no. show you on my. It looks like this. It's going to basically look like almost like a diamond. So, do you mm. want a checkerboard on your background, or do you want a diamond the at the top? The thing is, the stripes I... would probably cover the diamond, though. 
Well, no, I mean, I, I see what, like, the diamond could be something that, um, we could also put a symbol there at some point. Um, because I, I, I'm, I'm, basically what I'm doing is, is that we're, we're generating, like, a little bit of a, like, a bit of a blueprint, but I'm just gonna take the thing and I'm gonna see what I can make out of it. Yeah. <laughs> but I, honestly, I think having one diamond at the top would be better than, uh, um, than having a bunch of checkers, yeah. uh, right. behind everything. Okay. Yeah. So what, what color do you want your diamond to be? Okay, so we got green... And white. Green and white. I'm gonna... You know, I'm actually gonna look this up. Uh, what colors complement that? You could go red and go full Santa Claus. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, colors that complement green. I'm gonna do that, though. There's going to be a... The... There's going to be a house whose colors are red and green. It consists entirely of elves ruled by a jolly fat man. <laughs> ah, and their heraldic symbol is going to be a holly uh, on a red and black green. on a red and green field. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing I'm seeing blue. Apparently, yeah, complements blue green or, a little bit. Probably blue. Probably. Uh, I prefer blue. Do I prefer it. blue. Okay. Like a like a darker blue. Blue. Okay. Okay. There we go. There you go. All right. Um. So it's blue. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh. And. Okay. Uh, all right. We're good. Um. So that is your basically your coat of arms right there. Mm -hmm. It's a little. Looks like abstract art. I know. <laughs> I, I. I'll. Mm -hmm. I'll take what I can do, and I'll see if I can make something out of this. <laughs> Wait, I'm also doing it. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want you're doing it too. Well, here's what we'll do. We'll we'll come back with our our versions, and then whoever <laughs> likes which whoever one we want, we can just pick. It's a okay, uh, fair. Yeah. Okay. Next up is uh. All right. Next up. Hmm. Do you want an object, or do you want an animal, or a mythological creature? Mythological creature. <laughs> On your okay, I would probably um, be creature. Okay, then roll. Be... All right, so this is this is uh, Artis's house. Artis highs. I will send. Um, roll thirteen d six, please. We'll see which mythological creature. Forty four. What what kind of creatures does appear in this world's mythology? <laughs> Well, it's um, probably going to be, I guess, the dragon. Yeah, yeah. obviously. Yeah, well, yeah. Be beyond yeah, dragons, yeah. because we're yeah. apparently there are sworn enemies. You know, some people, some pe some houses who claim to have slain dragons have dragons as their heraldry. Oh, okay. Mm. So not necessarily. Um, then can we do dragons? Well, let's see what we generated yeah. first. Well, what you generated was a fox. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay. That makes because that well that makes sense because of our because that makes sense of our yeah. fae. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, what do you think, Justin? I like it. Okay. Oh, I can okay. We are cunning and we move fast, which all fits. That's okay. true. Okay. All right. Um. So now there is um. So, so if you're going to have an animal, you need uh, to pick the attitude of the animal. <laughs> um so the list is uh as follows the list is rampant salient sigeant statent passant dormant affront gardens or regardens um, these are all words that i understand i have no clue yeah. what they mean <laughs> okay fine, fine sorry uh rampant um is the body is raised and the animal is sitting on its left rear leg with its right rear leg raised. The left mm. foreleg is raised up next, followed by the right foreleg. So if you've uh, ever seen um, if you ever seen heraldry of an animal standing on its hind legs, that's rampant. Okay. All right. Yeah. You know what? Um, uh, I've got uh, Pinterest on. <laughs> uh, how about I just share the screen and we can all see. Ahead. What it looks like? I I don't know. Just sure. Pick something. You from, can try. Yeah. 
from that. Uh, let's see. Uh, is it? Oh, no, sorry, it is. it's screen. Screen. Sorry. Screen. I'm gonna show print first. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, Watch stream. Yep. You guys can see the the screen, right? Load yeah. for me. It's probably not. Yeah. Because I was trying to do this with a friend and I couldn't get it to work. Oh, okay. I'm looking at it. I see it. All right, as long as you guys see it. It's on the top That's a left. fox. Yeah, it's a... Uh, so I got a bunch of foxes. Yeah. Just tell There's me what something. to type in. Like, I said, look up heraldic fox. Uh, which one? On the top left or top right? No, no I was going to say search. No, no, in the search bar. Heraldic fox. In the search fox. bar, look up heraldic fox. How does it's it H-E-R-A-L-D-I-C. Okay. H-E-R-A-L-D-I-C. D-I-C. Oh, heraldic. Fox. Heraldic Fox. Like this? So that's uh, rampant right there, yes. Okay. So this so this is what heraldic animals look like. So on the top right you see this fox so John's sitting down. Um this one. I think depending on even whatever position we choose, I think it would be interesting if the fox looks like in a like almost like it's like an orderly position mm -hmm. which would kind of make sense with our mixed history considering the fact that like we were you know you know we were we were once a mostly noble house and but then we have this like little twinge of fey trickery mixed within mm -hmm. i don't yeah, know i feel like that would be kind of interesting hmm. yeah it doesn't have to be though i mean you could be you could uh, keep your uh, thing as is without a heraldic animal yeah, that's what I. Uh, on yeah. The side or this? I don't know. Like I never seen. You don't have to have. Uh, yeah. yeah you don't I have mean, to. honestly, I'm fine. I'm fine with other whatever position. Like I honestly, I might just, I might just pick. Check, I might uh, just... check general. Uh, general. General. Yeah, and general. no, 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 in Discord. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we could do something like that. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Or, uh, I've, I, I saw this. I'm not sure if this works. Uh, I'm posting as well. I, I think it's easier. Okay, yeah, so you can stop the stream. Uh, if we only have the heads or just the upper body, I don't know. Maybe just the, like a fox head profile. Yeah. We could just do well oh yeah that's okay. true yeah i think that'll be I, i'd be fine I, i'd be i'd be fine with either oh, yeah i spent well i mean honestly i am probably going to just be grabbing vector art and repurposing yeah. it so i'm going to be looking at vector versions of foxes and working with the color this scheme one? all right this one looks cool just yeah like omega fox Omega fox. <laughs> that's mythic. i think this one is simple we could do something like this yeah, yes, oh, this, I like. Oh, that's good. that's really I like good. It. I like that's it. really it, good. It shows cunning with its eyes. Yeah. yeah. What? Wait. What? What color would the would it be though? Would it be white or yellow or white? Because like I know you can't have metal on top of metal. Yeah. I know Blue? that. Well, wouldn't Blue. wouldn't that be on the wouldn't that be on the green like with the fox? Yeah, green, green and the blue. Yeah. Hmm. 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 My the color probably looks like this. I'm not sure. Like the blue, a little bit. It could be blue. Tinted. It could be a blue fox. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, that might be something where, like, when me and Justin are actually designing it, we may have to go through a couple different color variations. Yeah. 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 So that might just be something that we can just decide later on. All right. To be it. honest, I am going to be using that uh, that art as the basis. Mm -hmm. So we have a fox sigil. We have our color scheme. White, green, and blue. So I think we're pretty good unless there's anything else. Oh, well, the only thing that's left is to define members of the family and the household in general. Not mm. just like family members, but also uh, servants, knight, household knights if you have it. Oh, well, you do definitely have, you have them. And we so definitely on. have knights. <laughs> yeah, the thing about uh, those knights that you have in household knights is the knight unit that you have are knights who know how to work together. They work together. Yeah. Knights, knights tend to be very individualistic warriors. 
But right. if that training, uh, their elite training is combined with with teamwork, they are a potent force in the battle. We have sort right. of like a war band, or yeah, troops. <laughs> Sorry, Warhammer. Uh, we have troops. We yeah, have troops, troops essentially. Yeah. So we're looking for basically positions in the in the royal family. Well, I guess this would be more more up to this would be more up to Ardos. Like, what kind of family? No, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need help to make all of this. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, um, let's just say you're yeah. Well, let's establish our roles right now. Right. At least the inter party roles. You are the head of the family. You are the lord, Ardos. Right. Yes. Right. Establish that. I would I would assume be the lord's advisor. Yeah. All right. Yes. I am there to get to be counsel and maybe have a have a bit of inquire on some decision making that the Lord makes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Um, mm -hmm. the, the question now is just like, what is Finn's position oh, in the easy. family? Uh, he trains the archers and the scouts. Hmm. Well, he, okay. he trains them. Oh, and he also has ties to uh, sort of the underbelly of the city. So of the yeah. Yeah, okay. he was more um, like a uh how how do you describe the intelligence? Uh medievals they don't have intelligence, but you know, similar spy master. Master. Yeah, spy master similar to that. So yeah. Okay. okay. Alright. Um now, Justin, since you are going to be the Lord, I have a few questions for you. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> how old is your lord? Uh, how old is my boy? Um, good question. Maybe mid thirties. I would say like thirty six. Ah, uh, thirty six. Okay. So, has he participated in any wars, either with um, either like a small skirmish with bandits, or did he actually fight at the Seven Forts at one point? He probably had to fight at the Seven Forts at one point, considering his family sort of. Yeah. I wouldn't say reputation, but like their sort of history. Their martial. So he would have. Yeah, his duty as well, so he would have probably okay. been in the Seven Forts at one point. So Alright. Has he distinguished himself during these wars? Did he distinguish himself in any way? Good question. Um I would like to say he's modest enough that he wouldn't like be very like um forthcoming with his achievements. So he could be like more low key, like he's a low key yeah. kind of guy. Even if he did something, it wouldn't be known. Mm -hmm. Like he's so probably he's, he prob probably he's just more of like a capable soldier than anything. He, he's not capable for yeah. He's like those uh, folk tales, like you know the knights hidden within the armies and uh, only to be real until one day something happened. Yeah, or maybe it was just like like uh, I didn't I I saw this 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 mighty warrior on the battlefield, mm -hmm. but I never got his name or something like yeah. that or whatnot. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, what uh, is who is uh, his who is the lord he has sworn loyalty to, and what is his relationship with that with his liege? Hmm, that's a good question. So, because we're because Arthas is a duke, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, he's a duke. That means he would have to answer to a count or an earl. Um, I'm checking right now. I'm checking Wait, my thing. Isn't duke higher? No, here's the ranking. Um, a my, it goes from a minor knight to a to greater knight to duke to viscount to count yeah. to baronet to baron and then to king. Mm -hmm. So we probably answer to a viscount then. Yes. Uh, hmm. I guess I think what would be interesting is um we'd answer to a human viscount probably. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. of that knows of our very um our history. <laughs> history. Right? Yeah. Um what name would they have and what house would they be? Uh oh. trying to think. Hmm. Would it be I think it would be interesting like back then you have sort of like the old guard, like the old humans, right? Yeah. And like um I have to imagine there's like two houses, let's say there's house highwell and then another house right mm -hmm. and our house went down while theirs went up and now okay. we swore and, and we're, we were related at one point right what sort of generations has passed and now we have sworn fealty or we have sworn ourselves to this higher house which i will now look for a name for hold on okay. uh that makes sense yeah i do like that 
like we were we were we were like we were equal in power then the fey lord showed up and fucked everything up yeah and then to be fair we're technically not like well we're more distant now because we're tieflings and they're humans right so right as well there was a little bit of uh that kind of barrier yeah so uh, uh i'm trying to look for a good name uh uh we can do house emrys which means immortal so mm, okay. i like that so uh, spell that please emrys there you go it's in discord emrys oh you're uh, dipping into your pool of welsh names i see ah <laughs> uh, yeah because i'm in a pen i'm playing pen dragon the system so i have an entire spread list of welsh names all right so, <laughs> so what is uh viscount emrys's first name Mm. Random name generator. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Um, name generator. Let's give him an Irish name. <laughs> Irish name. Irish. Top of the morning to you. Top to the morning to you. Mm. Rob. Um. Andrew. <laughs> Andrew. Fergus. <laughs> Liam. Is it male or female? Yeah, that's actually a good question. Yeah. Uh, I'll roll for it. Odds is uh, odds is male, fem uh, evens is female. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're getting a man. Mm -hmm. Sorry, no matriarchy here, yeah. full. Um, <laughs> male Irish baby names. <laughs> <laughs> Angus. Like. F I O N N, like after the, like I know Fion de Mac. I forgot the Mac Kumhal. Yeah, that's a hero, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that means it'd be like Fion. Hmm, Fion Emrys. Okay. Fionn em the Viscount Fion Emrys. Yes. Okay. If it's Already. a girl, then it will be Fiona Emrys. So. <laughs> Fiona. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's Fiona. Yeah, yeah, right. There you go. Okay, so what is his relationship with Fiona Emrys? Good, bad, terrible. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like they're at odds. Like, I think because of our history, it's not like we hate each other, it's just more of like there's tension every time we meet because we both know our history mm -hmm. and that they're sort of thing and he's higher than me that's sort of, so like there's tension but we don't yes, we're not is, sworn enemies or anything yeah. you're not sworn enemies just a little, you know, a little tension because of your history and totally not because you have a powerful unit of knights that you can stick <laughs> on him whatever you want yeah no 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 totally not no 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 no, no. It's just insecure Remedies. that way. <laughs> it's enemies, yes. God, imagine oh, you're insecure oh. because I have an elite group of knights that can destroy your knight. Sheesh! Yeah, come sheesh. on, guy. All right. Uh, oh. Next question. Interesting. Do you have any extended family? Oh, that's a good question. Extended you did, family. Right? Um, you did say, or are they still alive, though? That's a good question. Um, do I have any extended? I feel like with how small her family is, I feel like I wouldn't have any extended family because technically we are the extended family of the main branch. Oh, All it's right. already you know extended. I mean? do you, Currently, yeah, we're, yeah. Okay. Uh, next I would question. say no. Yeah. So no. Yeah. All right. Okay. Next question: Are you married? No, <laughs> no. I don't think you would have time for love. Well, I want to make it to that. Finding a marriage is part of the campaign. I want that. Yeah. To be a, you know, don't worry. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Isaac's but you already plans. hold on, hold on. Just saying, uh, a knight who is already uh, an heir of a house and is already thirty-six. It's highly unmarried, unlikely yeah, I want, to be unmarried. Uh, yeah, he he went he went to war for like ten years. He didn't have time yeah. to you know, go <laughs> look. Well, no time well, for girls. Yes, gentlemen, gentlemen. Yeah. Next question: Does he have any bastards? Oh mm. yes. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> I want to actually roll for this. This will be interesting. Please be um, no, or else Finn will be. Well, <laughs> no, just kidding. No. <laughs> Well, this will be interesting because, like, maybe there's one that he doesn't know of, and uh, yeah, I, I like to think there's one that I don't know of, one that <laughs> yeah. Artos does not know of. 
And that could be a that could be a story beat later in the campaign. Mm, okay. Yeah, I think that's nice because I don't think Arthos would have been completely chast for the rest of his life, right? Yeah. Maybe once yeah, or yeah. Maybe there was a yeah. fling, and yeah, exactly. Yeah, a fling, right? Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> so, it'll be interesting, especially if they come back and try to claim you. Yeah. I'll just kill him, fucking bastard. <laughs> That's not honorable, sir. Um, but he's a ba- he doesn't have any claim to the to the because he's a bastard. He doesn't get. Right, because it's not he legitimate, wants, right? He wants his daddy. <laughs> well, no. we don't know. Maybe he might be know. a good guy. Like, that's maybe, the thing. Yeah. Maybe he'll just be like, I'll give it to the actual son. <laughs> maybe. I doubt it. All right. Um, How is he perceived? How is your lord perceived? Firm. Um, kind. Yeah, I think, I think he's... He's firm and more of like... He's not the political maneuver. Mm-hmm. Even well, worst cares. case, people think he's yeah. simple. Like he's yeah. simple, direct, easy to manipulate, that sort of thing. I'm but thinking. Bat- I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm thinking Ned Stark, honestly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same. I think that's a great sort yeah, of right. thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right. So, uh, all right, I'm taking a look at the rest of this. Uh, what else do we have? Okay. <clears throat> I am going to add a list. A household list to your stats. Okay, uh, for this one, I want this uh, basically very short, very punchy. You know, um, just like a name, age, species, whatever. Like a quick sentence describing them. Um, so first, your castellan. This is the individual who oversees the defense of the house. Castle and only serves in this in, only serves in this function when the lord is away or otherwise unable to see to the task himself. Ooh, tiefling most likely. Yeah. Um, I would like Maybe. to imagine they're older than. Actually, I want like yeah. this person to have trained um, Artos, right? So he's a trusted sort of like mm-hmm. a, uncle. I would sup- I, I think like an uncle to I Artos. You, you didn't have an extended, yeah, extended family. family. Uh, all right, not no, but like an uncle figure. Uncle figure, mean, essentially. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. maybe the weapon him. master of the of the house. You know. No, you are yeah. not Castellan, Fen. You are not going to be Castellan. Castellan. I guess. Wait. Name. Wait. What do I need to fill out? Name. Name. Yeah. Just give me a name, age, species, and on a short sentence describing them. Okay. Wait. I'll open. Name. Right. Species. Yeah. Age. Just. Just put that into chat, and I'll put it into the. Uh, I'll put that into our house stats. Uh, just the first name? Mm-hmm. Uh, or... or family name if they have one. Okay, I'm gonna just... Um... <laughs> Honestly, I'm just gonna put <laughs> random name generator. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about, uh, what about uh, Casimir? I like that. Oh, okay. Casimir. Oh, Casimir just reminds me from Curse of Strong. <laughs> oh, God, that's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you say Casimir, I heard Castamere. Uh, I just I, I just okay. remember Witcher, so Vasimir. Yeah, yeah that's all right. So it sounds Darren, so similar. He's Darren. like probably forty nine. Um, his uh, species he's a tiefling, I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, and okay. lastly, in terms of a few sentences describing him, he would be um, what's this? Mm. If he's a castle, he probably has some military experience. Yeah, I would say he's a. Uh, uh, if you get what I mean by deceptive casual, you know what I mean? Like, you think he's like a fool, mm-hmm. but then he'll make you regret it by you <laughs> underestimating him. So he's yeah. not a particularly honorable fellow. He, he tries to like deceive yeah. people in that regard. Yes, he does. Which I think <laughs> Arthos sort of dislikes, but you know, he can't really you know take him out because he does trust him. So yes. Oh, I think Isaac would have a great time with Darren. <laughs> oh, I'm hanging out with right. Darren for sure. That's for sure. I'm sure. Okay. Now next up is uh, the steward, the person who handles the family's financial concerns. You know what? I'll pass this on to Robin. <laughs> Go ahead. I right. trust you. 
You come up with the steward, Robin. Uh, yeah, you, you figure it out. All right, the steward. Let's see. Uh, hmm. All right. We need a race. Is he Tifling? Half hey. well, not. Is he human? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, what are Dwarf. some of the other? Oh shit! Uh, gnomes. Like no gnomes. No no oh, no 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 they're not monsters. They're no gnomes. No. They're not yes. monstrous enough. I mean, the reason I yeah. let Aladrin be a playable race is because they're just simply so alien. Okay. Right. So alien monstrous race. Hmm. Yes. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, why? It can be an orc or a bugbear, uh, goblin, shifty goblin. Oh, bugbear would be kind of hilarious. What? what? <laughs> bugbear? I want you the bugbear with glasses, like, oh, yes, my lord. I, I kind of yeah. think that would be hilarious. Yeah, let's, but let's then, go we'll bugbear. let Robin decide. Why not? Okay. Yeah. Uh, how old? See. Name and how old? Uh, uh, with him trying to be a advi like, well, man in charge of money probably need to be of certain age i would say 45 okay. 45 he yeah. knows his way and he's been dealing with you know merchants and stuff so uh let's see so what else dusha <laughs> sounds like dusha dusha, <laughs> dusha. Fellas. I, I just pull it from the, the random name generator so can you give him like a really posh name? Yeah, like, yeah maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a really posh name. Uh, okay. Let's see. What name? What posh name, name generator. <laughs> there, there is posh name generator. There is, of course, there's posh name January. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm just gonna lift some name some off the bat. Uh, Benedict. <laughs> Benedict. Um, Benedict. Benedict. Uh, oh, I, yes. I like. I am Benedict. I am Benedict. I am Benedict. In Benedict the bugbear. <laughs> Benedict actually oh. sounds good. Or Maximilian. Yeah, I like. Uh, or... Maximilian. <laughs> oh, that's Bosch too. Yeah, that's yeah Maximilian. Probably honestly, probably. I, yeah, Maximilian. Uh, let's be just go good too. for Maximilian. Yeah, I like yeah. Maximilian. Oh, Maximilian Forbridge. Nice knowing you. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> So he knows his way around money and people. merchants. And people. He knows how to manipulate people. So, yeah. Ooh, more people Isaac can talk to. Yeah. Ah, fuck. <laughs> if you want to be a, like, that's probably a required trait. If you want to be good with money. Well, he needs to, yeah, naturally persuasive. Yeah. Knows how, yes. how to be around naturally yes. All right, persuasive. Yeah. All right, next up is... Uh, next up... Mm, Yes, yeah, so that would be priest. Do you have a priest or a priestess? Uh, okay, go, yeah. Isaac. Uh, I think it should be a priestess. Okay. Um, just in general. Um, well, here's the thing. Um, this is also tied to my character, so this is just dependent on um, whether or not um, this would be a thing. Because you may have noticed that Isaac has a lot of moon imagery. Mm-hmm on his uh on his uh on his coats on yep. his uh demeanor in general mm -hmm. uh that's because he kind of is a bit of a follower of saloon or the silver lady as he mm -hmm. likes to refer to it um it would be interesting if this was a priestess of some respect to saloon or the silver lady okay mm -hmm. why not is that okay is that okay with you yeah, falcon go yeah go okay yeah okay I like it. um now I'm just trying to remember the races that I could choose from, right? Uh, bugbear, uh, lizard folk. Uh, let's see, what else? Basically, monsters. Arapokra would be a nice, like, or Ooh. Asmar. As well, well, wait, no, Asmars are looked down upon. Uh, Asmars are. Let's. See. Yeah, Asmars are a thing. Yeah. Oh, are Asmars a thing? Yeah, you are a thing. Well, I think it would be kind of cool to have a Tifling and an Asimar in the same house. Yeah. Um. So okay. I kind of want to do Asimar, if that's all right with you, uh, uh, Justin. Yeah, go for it. That sounds fun. Okay, so Asimar. Maybe, maybe she's like, uh, she's like, because we have two old guards, right? So it'd be kind of fun if she was like younger, maybe like twenty, like twenty-two, mm -hmm. like she was just a little, maybe like a little unsure of herself, mm -hmm. unsure of herself. Uh, kind-hearted though, 
Um, because we can't have all we can't all have whole douchebags <laughs> as part of our, our well, part of our crew. <laughs> Maximilian is not a douchebag. He just no, he's not a douchebag. I just it would be cool to have like because we have a kind-hearted person. Dis- yes. Yeah, you know, a little unsure of herself, kind-hearted, kind-hearted person. Right. Um, then. and now we're looking for a name, a name to go with this girl. Does it need to be posh too? <laughs> no, no. I think I should pick a. Uh, I'm gonna look for something. Um, Let's see. Uh, what's it? I'm trying to think. Sky, Zeltara. Something. Zeltara. Mm-hmm. I like Tara. Tara. Tara's Tara's not good. bad. Tara's good. Yeah, I like. Uh, we'll just go with Tara. Yeah, Tara for now. And I'll try and think of a last name later. I guess uh, Tara. See. Stormwind. Or something. Uh, well, something with the something that wouldn't be terrible. Um, um, Tara like, Moonshine. <laughs> Moonshine. Oh, come on. That's just on the nose. She's kind, but she's an alcoholic. <laughs> be aware. Of- <laughs> That'll be funny, actually. Yeah. Oh God. Uh, Tara. Ta- I gotta think of a last name, but it has to have moon or stars. Uh, and I already have a name for something else that I don't want to put in. Wait, uh, Wait moon or stars? Uh, yeah, well, because because saloon is uh, celestial. Wait, like it's the sky. Uh huh. Wait, I don't know. Nightshade. Uh. Uh, uh, nightingale. Could do nightingale. Why Why nightingale. Why not? Yeah, nightingale. Yeah, nightingale. I like that. Nightingale. Terra nightingale. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There we go. Because I, li- I like I like spicing it up with uh, with something like that. So priestess, little unsure of herself, ASMR, uh, uh, twenty two, uh, religion is silver lady. Uh, yeah. Type it in. Yep. Type it oh. In. What oh, okay. Sorry. I can use. I hear here. Uh, here. I'll just post it just yep. to make your life a little bit easier. Okay. <laughs> Mine, the I know I said ladder, but it's silver lady. <laughs> silver ladder. <laughs> silver ladder is also good. All right. Uh, next up, we need a master at arms, the person who oversees the household guard. Master at arms. arms. Uh, I'll take this, I guess. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Um, wait, what do they do exactly? They can, like, they're... Sorry? They're the one who basically is the they train boss your soldiers. of the, yeah. of the soldiers. Mm. Well, here's my question. What, what's what's the difference between a Master of Arms and a Castellan? Uh, the Master of Arms trains your soldiers, Castellan commands them. Oh, okay. Like All commander right. and trainers. Different. And, you know, okay. that, yeah. Just for something fun. Right. I'm gonna have a young master of arms. Yeah. Um, okay. I think um, once again, I'm just gonna put tiefling. Like okay. I just feel like it yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Can... Yeah. Right. So, um, we'll give him a another Welsh name, I guess. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna be young and fun. I want him to be. He, I'm gonna make him a lazy master of arms. <laughs> but when, when it get, when it gets tough, he's serious, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like normally he would drink, or he or she would drink, or just lay low, lay, lay back. Roll, and, you yeah. Know, yeah. Just. Yeah, you I'm guys thi- just have free training for today. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of Hans from Attack on Titan. <laughs> Wait. Uh, okay. Oh, Even yeah. this women. Yeah, I think. Oh, it's a woman. Okay, that's great. It's a girl. Uh, okay. It's a girl. Okay, Ali, <laughs> this is gonna be funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll call her. Da, 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 da. Oh. Da, da, da. I'm looking for a good name. Oh, okay. Uh, Oena, Tiefling, twenty six. Um, master of arms and lazy tries to dodge responsibility <laughs> until it is really serious. There you go. Yeah. Gotcha. 
God, I'm really just setting myself up for failure with this. <laughs> I go back to check to check my knights. What's up? And then they just all suck. <laughs> well, honestly, it kind of makes sense in the sense where our garrison is just mm. trained and it's not like properly militarized. Yeah, that's, that's probably why. That's probably why. Imagine, imagine if Owena is the head of the elite knights. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Maybe she's lazy because she is elite. She's already so good. Yeah. She doesn't feel like she needs to improve. Yeah, true. That's mm. yeah. You know, that's true. I think that'd be great, actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, it's for responsibility. Just about responsibility. I have a colorful cast of a of a house right here. Yeah. See, this is what I want. I want a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> Yep. All right. Uh, next up is uh, what's called the master of horse, the person in charge of acquiring, training, and caring for your horses. Okay. Mm. Uh, go, Robin. Has to be a girl. Has to be a girl. Okay, girl. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Bianco or Ishka. What? Whatever. Uh, sounds nice. Ishka. For me, Ishka. Ishka. Yeah. So hold on, let me check. Uh, what race do you guys want? We already are flooded with tiefling. Uh, uh, more tieflings. <laughs> more tieflings. All, oops, all, oops, all maybe tieflings. We can, maybe we can have a human. I mean, like this is the kingdom of humans and monsters. Yeah, I think I think we should have at least one human. Is that all right, Falcon? Yeah, sure. Okay. You're allowed to. Like I said, um, like I said that. Wait, Immorta is like 50, more than fifty percent human. Yeah, so, wait, right. wait, wait. Uh, how about Goliath? Human-like, but strong sure. because you know you have to train the horses. You have to be you okay. Know, that'd be kind of cool. Well, is, yeah, is cool. can yeah. we do Goliath? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. So it's hulking Goliath who takes care of your horses for you. Yep. Yeah. Okay. No wonder Ishka can carry people with full armor. They have to carry a Goliath. Yeah. <laughs> or more like Ishka is carrying the horses around, like the way she carries. She leads them in. It's like she put two horses on her shoulder, just like, yo, what's up? <laughs> she's like Arnold. She's like Arnold Schwarzenegger with the yeah. trees. <laughs> yeah. I would say she's twenty-seven. Not that old. Uh. Master of horses. Horses. Uh, hold on. Female. What is? Uh, yes. What's her characteristic? Uh, she's actually probably good at her work. Like, uh, not lazy. <laughs> the opposite side <laughs> of lazy. Uh, it would be interesting. Is she? Does she like to talk that much, or is she very like one, oh, like one word she sentences? Loves to talk, like she oh, talks loves to, to talk. Horses. Okay, she's like the horse whisperer or something, and you know, she likes to talk. Well, I mean, people. like I mean, like talking. Oh, so she loves to talk about horses. Okay, yes, All talk right. about horses. Talk to horses. You know, just you know, all the kind of talking. Okay. He likes to talk to horses. Uh, both talk about and to horses. Yeah. About and. She's gonna be like, hey, hey, guys! I know you guys are off to do yeah. something very important, but, but I gotta like... talk to you about. Yeah. I gotta talk to you about what a. <laughs> Our Lord and today. Savior, the and horses. Like, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> right, That's just... awesome. All right, I cast Misty Step and disappear. Uh... <laughs> All right. All right. Um, done. So Chatty. Uh, okay, Kennel Master. Kennel Master? Yeah, Dave, this is a person who takes care of your hunting dogs, if you have any. Hunting dogs. Do we, do we this is also the person now? in charge of hunting. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, okay, uh, Kennel Master, hunting dogs. <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe this one should be uh, a human. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Human. Sure. Um, I I think it'd be cool to have like just the oldest geezer imaginable. <laughs> like maybe he's like sixty five or something yeah. like that, and he's a crotchety old human. Yeah. Crotchety cool. old human. Yeah, I like that. Crotchety yeah. old human. Uh, and he needs a name. What's a what's, what's a crotchety old? old name? Yeah. 
Uh, I'm thinking Gareth. Yeah. Mm, eh, let me see if I can come somewhere there. Uh, name generator, human. Human. Okay, old male names. Ooh, I like Dedrick. Dedrick's oh, Dedrick sounds sounds super <laughs> super old. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I right, let's call yeah crotchy old man Dedrick. Yeah. Okay. Dedrick. Okay. So okay. hunting a human sixty five crotchety old human Dedrick. I'll post that. Yeah. Does he like to talk? Okay. Uh, what's his characteristic? Uh, well, he's crotchety, so he's just like, you know, uh, I want him back, to be the yeah. back in my day. Yeah, back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> you gotta have at least one stick yeah. in the mud, you know? You yeah. gotta have that kind of person. <laughs> Got at least one. Alright, who's next? Alright. And the uh, last one will be, um, all right, this will be the last one because we are running out of time here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, last one, the person in charge of your, who, the spokesperson for your elite knights. Who is oh, that? spokesperson. So they're representative. Uh, yeah, they represent your elite knights. Justin, want to do the others? <laughs> You know it's gonna be another tiefling, my friend. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, another it. tiefling. Okay. I just imagine, yeah. like, oh, sorry. I was just gonna say this: yeah. if you're gonna put more all these tieflings in there, I'm gonna make them members of your extended family. <laughs> okay, that's fair. You know what? Yeah. That's fair. All right. Uh, so just, if you're gonna have an extended family, this is the best way to keep an eye on on them and keep them out of trouble. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you want to be? Do you want that to be it? Well, I mean, honestly, it would kind of make at least a little bit of sense. Yeah, yeah, because for the military, it's all held by my family. <laughs> so, yeah. family. Um, nice. Fa family. family. Blood is yeah. stronger. Than <laughs> Blood is stronger. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I don't know why. In I thought extended family in terms of like, uh, like distant relatives. Yeah. That's what I thought. Like, yeah, so like second or third cousins. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, immediate family, I assume I have. So, like, yeah. Um. Mm. You know what? I'm just gonna take a page out of uh, Nice Round. Page. I'll call him Galahad. <laughs> oh, nice. Ooh, nice. Ooh. He's a uh, Galahad. I would say maybe he's. Um, I think I want to make him a uh, young one that has rise through the ranks. I would say. In the so he's 24. He's a uh, spokes person on Elite Knights. Um. I would say he is naive, <laughs> uh, youthful, and energetic. Yeah. Full of hope. Nice. Yes. And heroism. And, the, yes. and then he gets bloodied by war. It's like, <laughs> what is happening? Yeah. Alright, uh, what are you going to call your knights? Oh, good question. Um, Green knights! What? Are they? <laughs> what? No. That, Green knights. That's already trademarked, <laughs> so <laughs> probably not. Yeah, especially. You know what's kind of funny? You make that joke, but there is that movie, The Green Knight, that yeah, has the I scene know. where he's walking around with Fox. I know. Um. Hmm. Fox. Thinking. Something related Let's to do. Fox. You know the name. I of was gonna movie. make. I was gonna make the Metal Gear reference. <laughs> <laughs> Our knights are foxhound. Yeah. Fox. <laughs> Actually, why not? Just, just do it. Hey, the yo, foxhounds of Highwell. Yeah. Oh, that kind that, of sounds that dope. That kind of sounds dope. Do it. It's like when the inner cavalry, they you're like in, like they have like fox belts in all of them, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? And they like then they just charge in like black helmets to represent the eyes, and then they just nice. dive. <laughs> That'd be so cool. You already Ooh, yeah. have the full okay. outfit. The fox, yeah. the fox hounds of Heinwell. That yeah. sounds really that cool, sounds actually. <laughs> Alright, nice. so... Okay. Sweet. Alrighty, and... Save. 
All right. Um, I think that's about it. We did it, boys. So this is uh, how wait. look at how little land you have. Ah, uh, yeah, great. Um, oh wait, aren't we supposed to generate stats? Oh Sorry, yeah, just... right. Oh, your character's character. right. Yes. Mostly, I mean, uh, I I did my character already, but I I I'm glad to glad to see how you guys do. <laughs> Forty six. Oh fucking hell! This is gonna be terrible. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is this is terrible. Well, you just saving it in the back half. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, there's one more. Sorry. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, terrible. Yeah. Fucking hell. Oh god, that's a ten. <gasps> oh shit. Oh no. Yo, guys. You can do it. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. Oh god. Oh, I'm no. just gonna be an average lord. It's okay, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh. oh no. You have to actually like these stats. I'm not like noteworthy in any way. That's great. Okay. Okay, there, like there's, there's a decent there's there is this is this is trash. I will say this, if you wanna know about like what my stat block is, my stat block is pretty decent, except I have absolute garbage strength. This I have garbage insane. strength and garbage health. So basically, right. if I get hit by a dragon, I'm going down super hard. Yeah, you look, yeah, you're not heading up getting hit by a dragon unless you go out to the forts. I know, which yeah. is probably why Isaac's like, you know, we don't have. Listen, I I know going to the forts sounds like a good idea, but maybe we maybe we try something a little bit more my speed. Nope, we're going <laughs> to the forest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Finn, oh, you this is terrible. <laughs> oh my god, my stats. <sighs> now you know how I felt with freaking uh, fucking uh, Kelby for the longest time. Just going like, oh god, I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I just like it because, like, I don't know, it kind of completes the artist kind of vibe. Like, he's not anyone, right? He's just an average guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's actually honestly the best way to do it, you know. It's like that's how you have to kind of play it. Yeah. God, he's not gonna big brain your your ass when we're like out in the field, you. Know? <laughs> uh yes, I outsmart your outsmarting of my outsmarting of you. Nope. <laughs> like, nope. No. Just, just nope. <laughs> Oh my god. It's like listen, my my job is to keep you guys alive and if things get really bad, I'm the guy who's like I'm going to talk I'm going to talk us out of just, you know, just getting annihilated by our enemies. Yeah. Cuz like if Isaac <laughs> sees like a battle turning, he will totally try and just convince the enemy to just stop. <laughs> Yo guys, relax. Please stop. <laughs> it's like relax. Please, pretty please. Please, <laughs> please stop. I've got Charm Person, and I've got one of the. I've got a really good uh, uncommon magical item. <laughs> All right, we have a magic item. All right, I need to put yeah. that in. Uh, um, interesting. Fuck. Um. Okay. okay. I don't know. I have a family heirloom as my uncommon magic item. That would make sense. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Okay, uh, change of plans. So, need to have at least. Okay. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> 13. Okay. Oh, I want to get the Javelin of Lightning. Get it? Ooh, that would be I would fun. like to say it was like the last weapon our god tiefling left us with. Mm -hmm. Right, so he imbued it with his own magic, and that's why it's a javelin of lightning. That's cool. That's cool. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Right. I'll slowkey about this out loud and just say because my stats are garbage. I <laughs> I have a gauntlet of ogre power. Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Why, hey, we got it from the ogres. Like, why you don't know, you get you it? Know what I'm saying, like, use the gauntlet, and then you can have. I want javelin of lightning. It's not. The flavor is awesome. <laughs> the flavor is really good. Yeah, the flavor is yeah. really good. 
Uh, especially since if you're riding your horse, it, yeah. it, you could just pull off a fucking Aomir mm -hmm. and just just chuck that javelin, and take out the elephant. <laughs> yeah, and then your javelin will be gone. <laughs> what about you, Finn? What are you thinking? Uh, like rogues, baby. Uh, like my plan's a little bit fucked uh, because I. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for a better uh, intelligence, you know, but uh, it's okay. It's 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 like I live, <laughs> so uh, I will probably. I'm thinking bracers of archery because I'm training the archers. Mm, yeah, bracers of archery would be really good. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a solid that's mm -hmm. a solid choice. Yeah. Uh, I I had some flavor for mine about where I got it that I might get into when we when we do our character talking. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I did pick the uh, the bard, uh, the instrument of the bards, mm -hmm. which is really good for bards. Yeah, I know. It's and really good. They are just uncommon, which is absurd. <laughs> <sighs> But like I said, even though like like even though that 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 loot or what I'm just referring to is the lunar loot, which is what my character is using in his art. Mm -hmm. Um basically, I have a lot of stuff that I can probably use out of combat and in combat. I have a lot of utility as 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 the bard of the group. But yeah, but if things come close to me with big knives or, you know, giant claws, I'm going to go down like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> So um... oh, I have a, I have a question about the just the campaign in general. It's like for the adventures that we're gonna have or like the sessions, are they gonna be like spanning out through like years or like? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what, what is that? It's definitely gonna like between event downtime between adventures is gonna take a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, that's cool. Yeah. So your characters are gonna get old. They may need to get married. Mm -hmm. Ah yes, I need to find an heir that will roll better stats than Arthur. <laughs> Actually, actually, um, no, it's not. Uh, but actually, I already have an idea for your first adventure. Ardos is going to compete in a tournament. The prize is the hand of some lord's daughter. Ooh. Okay, that's mm. traditional night story. She's going to be trying to marry her way up. At the suggestion of my advisor. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Isaac is going to suggest that. You just charm the lady. You're just gonna, you're gonna be like, I don't want to do this. And then, Otis, 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 you have to put your faith in me, my friend. You don't have to do this, otherwise people will start to sit, start spreading rumors about you. Yeah. Well, it's not the rumor. The rumors are one thing, but every noble house needs a noble lady. Let us be real. I kind of call. I, I call Finch from the background. Finn, <laughs> do your. Tell me what she likes, I'll get her a gift. <laughs> yes, this is what you're getting paid to do. Yeah. <laughs> just, yes, just my break Lord. into her house, steal her phone, and look at her Facebook <laughs> <Yeah>. likes. <laughs> or Instagram looks. Just, In, just Yeah, just, check her Instagram. Just check yeah. everything. <sighs> I do I do like the idea of there being like a tournament because that would be a cool thing where like I like you know artists can do like all his his you know the competition he can do the jousting I can do the performing Finn can do the sneaky stuff yeah like there's a lot of fun that could be had with that for sure for sure for sure oh god I'm just trying to think of yeah it's gonna be really interesting I'm very curious to see our characters interact <laughs> with each other in action with this Ooh. very bizarre household that we've built. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have a question. I'm looking at our... You know how we're talking about we had adamantium weapons and armor, right? Yes, for free. Do our character I'm also get that? Probably not, right? That would be too OP. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, because the thing that I'm thinking about is, like, I'm I'm going to have to be wearing leather armor for sure, and mm -hmm. I don't think there is any adamantian equivalent of leather armor. So, no, yeah, so probably I just don't even need to worry about that, mm -hmm. so. But weapon was, yeah. though. Well, that's what I'm kind of curious. Would I have, like, an adamantian sword, or is that just oh, sure. for our military? Well, it'd probably be for you as well as your military. Let me, like I said, let me check. I'll double check what adamantian weapons do. Uh, they just do crits, I believe. 
Is that so? I, think I know that the ar I know the armor prevents you from getting crit. Yeah, but, but I don't know if you're weapons. Uh, it's in player's handbook. I just need to find the proper page. Wait, dungeon master's guide maybe? Uh, I think it's ra 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 treasure types of treasure. Oh, they meant if you hit it with an object, it counts as a critical hit. Yep. It's like oh, it's meant okay. to uh, it's okay. meant to like destroy stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So if we're we bashing can... down the door, get the endermen in me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, this one is probably partly what you're getting from the phase adamantine. Mm -hmm. Nice. That makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, that means I have an endermen in glaive. Let's go. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Fun. Wait, but don't you use the javelin? <laughs> Well, no, he's, he's, basically, he's got the javelin for melee, he's got the, no, sorry, not, sorry, he's got the javelin for range, he's got the glaive for melee. Okay. Yeah. I have a guitar, and I will be <laughs> very Adamantian far away guitar. from the fight. Yeah, an Adamantian <laughs> guitar. <laughs> no, my, my goal, if we ever get into the fight, is to get the fuck away from it. Well, I'm just gonna be like, nah. If we have an adamantine guitar, you can just back in with the it. background. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny because, like, um, because I'm Fey touched, I've got Misty Step and I've got uh, Bane yeah. as uh, as spells uh, I can just cast. Oh, uh, once same Fey touched, but uh, with Gift of Alacrity. So. Ah, okay, nice. Rogues. Interesting. That that's gonna be kind of cool that we have that like in common that we're both yep. fate touched. Mm -hmm. It's weird how we didn't have that as an intention when we came up with our house, yeah. but that yeah. just naturally just came just, into play. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's just fate touched. Uh, yeah. yeah, Finn. What is your race? I'm not saying. That. I'm a custom. Uh, I use custom race rolls uh, from the Tasha's rolls. Uh, that part I I'm not sure. I want to. What is you I want to play as a dragonborn without actually playing as a dragonborn? Uh, no, actually. Uh, well, that goes a little bit deep into the character uh, background. So, uh, his families are, uh, well, uh, humanoid, but uh, he's not a oh, variant human essentially. He, he's not entirely certain like mix, of their mix, origin. Mix, mix. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so wait, do we get the feet or? We, we, well, here's the thing. If you if well, how do you build your human Ardos? Is basically, do you take the one where all your stats just get buffed, or do you want to take the you pick two stats to get buffed mm -hmm. and you get a freet? Because that's yeah. the one that I took. I took yeah. the one where you just get a. Free oh feet. no! I just no. I'm a I'm a tiefling. I didn't get anything. <laughs> oh, that's right. Sorry, I forgot. You're a tiefling. Yeah, yeah. never mind. And with um, I, I, you guys are variants. Okay, I was uh, like, not did I miss a variant. Uh, the custom origin from Tasha's. Uh, it's different from the human variant. Uh, oh, okay. yeah, uh, I'm a humanoid, okay. but even Finn is not entirely certain what his bloodline is mixed with. Mm, so, okay. uh, the fate touch part, it's already have that in mind, but uh, the rest where his lineage he's actually like, came from, I drop, I've dropped a hint uh, for Falcon. But I want. I don't want to uh, know everything. You don't want to go too much into yeah, it, so that I, we I don't want to know, know yeah, everything. Be... I, I want to drop yeah. a hint and see how it pans out. So yeah, yeah. I'll leave that part yeah, to Falcon. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you're actually my long lost like cousin. <laughs> we don't know. I just yeah, I... your bastard right there. Yep. Man, oh, he God. is my bastard. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. I'm much older to be his bastard, so. <laughs> Unless he fucks Isaac's someone just... in the age of ten. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, Isaac. Isaac's just like I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go find another house. Yeah. You guys, uh, you guys, uh, figure this shit out. <laughs> oh yeah. God. But uh, I guess that's everything then. Um, yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go too. But oh, I guess we're, we're gonna we're gonna pick up uh, next week, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, next week we will pick up, and uh, we will be having a tournament. Okay, we'll and I will I will try and think of something for the art. I'll try and All come right. up with something. Me too. All right. Okay.
You, you take it easy, guys. Yep. Peace. Sorry, you too, guys. All right. Good game. Good game. Good night, everybody. All right, yo. All right.